start recording now, and that way all this is in. So now, okay. all right, go ahead and do it. All right, uh, hello and welcome to a podcast with uh, your host Shane, Shane Miller. And <laughs> should I just do the first? No, Shane. <laughs> you want to throw your stuff out there? You can. I'll throw my uh, stuff out there. And Tyler, I don't know your last name. Tyler Leezy. Leezy, and, and our uh, guest special Jeremiah, guest. special guest. <laughs> Jeremiah, <laughs> really glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad to be in my apartment um, with a microphone on top of a little, I don't even know what this is, yeah. entertainment stand thingy. Yeah, this is really. All right, all right, Shane. Slap together. Let's get out. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> let's do some. Let's break the ice here. Break some ice. Hopefully, I'm. Not, yeah, go ahead. We good? All right. So, do you want to start with? Immediately with the uh, icebreakers, or do you want to yeah, have let's, some let's other? Yeah, we'll do icebreakers. Just see. Right. If they're really lame, then we'll, we'll chastise you. Well, I literally only looked at one <laughs> website. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And it was like 20 of the best We're doing icebreakers. It. <laughs> We're doing it. And I just copy and paste it. Then, so, yeah. All right, so number one. If you, could, if you could have an endless supply of any food, what would you get? You know, we kind of have an endless supply of sandwiches and pizza already. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say pizza, but... But, I mean, I would probably say more like curry or something like... Or sushi or something like that. Probably ramen. Ramen? Yeah. I, I would want... You can, you can you, literally do whatever and, you want to ramen. Yeah, and you won't get sick of it, like, as easy. Yeah. So. I would want, like, uh... Can you eat, like, some kind of gold? 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 Yeah. <laughs> just, can you eat, uh, like, 24 karat gold? I'm pretty sure there's some stupid meme ass... <laughs> Wait. Like, a uh, food, so, food thing you can buy that's... I know there's there's like water of, with diamonds in it or something, but that's bullshit. But there is like some, oh, shit. there is some some like gold food thing. But I think I might be fake. No, no, it's real. All okay, right, well, well, well you can you can eat gold. I would get that. It will make you because. Sick. <laughs> well, I wouldn't eat it. I would just sell it, and then I'd be rich. Are the rules that you can't? You have to only eat that. It just said it. It just says if you could have an endless supply of any food, what would you get? <laughs> so does that count as food though? Because that's like. I mean, he's I eating mean, it. <laughs> but he's yeah, fucking he's, eating he's it. He's not eating it, though. He's I, would, I, would, I would eat I would it once, once. <laughs> and then it would be food. <laughs> Let's try and think of, like, a hilarious thing. Like, I just got a lifetime supply of money. And it's like, well, if I'm going to keep getting it, I might as well just, like, eat some dollars to get the feds off my back. <laughs> right. Because I'm assuming the government's the one issuing this. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they come, it's like, uh, they're coming checking on you to make sure you're following the rules. Like, I'm eating it. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mmm, mm, good, yeah. Good <laughs> oh, it tastes like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> all right, next icebreaker. All right, next one. We all answered. <laughs> Yeah, that was for you. You kind of did a bullshit answer, but, but you know, <laughs> so the people at home they don't okay. they won't get to actually know you. So they won't get to fantasize about meeting you in person. In all, because <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to serve you on your first date? God, <laughs> see now, Honestly, now you're you got your fans to throw gold at you. you <laughs> kind of already awesome. Won. Like, <laughs> if I could get my fa- if I could get fans one, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> honestly, what kind of food? There's like. What food can I never get sick? <laughs> Spaghetti. I don't I know just what you do like. Like a fat steak, like <laughs> ribeye or something. I mean, that's fair. That's a good one. That's fair. Yeah. Just a bunch of meat. Just, just, a, meat. just All a right. Freezer full. Go ahead and do the next one. <laughs> All right. If you were an animal, what would you be and why? All right. This, that's so dumb. I hate that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no idea. Being an um, animal would it just sucks. Yeah, because you'd just, just be like... First of all, you you don't have thoughts like humans do. You just kind of run on instinct. Yeah. And then you're just like, I need to have sex with something yeah. and I can die. <laughs> it's like, I need to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can you be, like... Can you be a person's pet? Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> if I was a pet, I'd be a ferret. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You, people let ferrets do whatever the fuck they want. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, but... Like, dogs, they, like, yell at them if they shit on the floor. Ferrets, it's just like, oh, But don't you think you'd shit, still be but... in the cage most of your life? Yeah, but, I mean, like, that's... I've like thought if about I, if I was a wild animal, probably a grizzly bear, but that's a really good way. To <laughs> Actually, learn. that sounds badass. Yeah, that's <laughs> a polar bear. bear. I might, I might pick Honestly, that. a polar bear would be kind of fun. <laughs> what, who? What do they eat? Seals and people, people. occasionally right. the, they, the occasional they, they, person. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's not so bad, I guess. No, hang out with penguins. I've thought about watch as your home melts away <laughs> every, <laughs> every year. I've I've thought about 
if I would ever want to become a dog. And then I'm like, well, no, because what if I become First a dog? All, they chop and then your I'm like the dog that's like abused. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, well, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Well, they bust out the peanut butter. It's <laughs> 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 your only life, bro. <laughs> uh, it's like, listen, you want to eat, you got to, like, yeah. you got to do the work. <laughs> you got to work it's for Good thing food. no one said peanut butter for their, like, lifetime food answer. <laughs> <laughs> Although, honestly, that's, so that's a good one, too. Just yeah, straight peanut I, butter? <laughs> yeah. if, like, no, I'll, like, um, eating peanut butter out of the jar is, like, so wait, it is really good. Yeah. So, wait, Jeremy, your final answer is ferret? Ferret, if I'm allowed to be a pet, grizzly yeah, bear. Yeah, it's if, fair. Like, you can be a pet. You can domesticate an animal. Yeah, okay. I feel like I would want to be, like, a sea animal, like a shark. Or yeah? An orca would be cool. Orca whales are so fucking dope. I forgot about sea creatures. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a, I kind of thought about that, but then Japanese people will kill you. <laughs> like yeah. you gotta, you gotta swim to America. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go to where the freedom is. Yeah. <laughs> get away from communism. Gotta get yeah. <laughs> uh, communist yeah. Japan. Damn, like, like, damn communist Japan. <laughs> um, that yeah, an orca whale would be really cool. I was thinking more of like. I don't know. Maybe a squid. Like a like a colossal squid or yeah, like yeah. A, no, like a a krill. <laughs> 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 like a All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um I literally have no idea. Just animals just suck. Yeah. Being an animal just would not be fun. Well, also, maybe like a cool like make a, an eagle and like or a hawk, yeah, a big ass bird. A big ass bird would be cool. You can fly, <laughs> and no one can fuck with you because you can fly. <laughs> so yeah, you just have to worry about like airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So yeah, Shane's well, got to worry about the Japanese. You got to worry about them. Yeah, I got to worry about like 9 2.0. <laughs> I just got. <laughs> I just got. Why so when nine eleven right into a bird? <laughs> No, like it's just going to happen. They're going to they're like another terrorist attack and I'm just like in the way and I'm like, oh my gosh, wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> That's <laughs> that happening We're so low. You're right, but <laughs> just all those But you know how like a lot of people have irrational fears, so if I'm gonna be an eagle, I'm gonna have irrational fears about nine eleven too. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone has irrational fears about nine eleven. Yeah, I mean true. Two. Nine eleven two point oh. Yeah, it's not okay. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah. So we all there said, was, yeah. Jeremy well, wants to be a tiny land animal. You want to be a big sea creature, or was a small sea creature? Yes. Because you okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to be in the sky. Okay. So that says a lot about us, right there. Yeah. Next also, one. this whole like animals don't have a personality or whatever thoughts. Well. No human has ever been an animal, so you we don't really know what they think. Yeah, that's true. I think about that all the time. Like, <laughs> what is my dog thinking yeah. about right now? Or is it even thinking? Right. Yeah. All right, number three. What is one goal you'd like to accomplish during your lifetime? A successful podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, a I'm, podcast. <laughs> uh, I don't know. My goals are small time because I don't want to fail. <laughs> so like, I want to like ha own a house and have s s financial stability. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like this would is like, I don't know, not for people our age. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I mean, you, it's like you could ask someone what they want to be when they grow up. Yeah, but like. But the only goal we would have is like our, yeah, ours, a house. Ours right? might be more boring because we're just like going for real jobs. <laughs> be like, yeah, I want to be like, I want to, I, I don't even know a good example. But <laughs> I want to be a pilot. That's yeah, cool. That's yeah. a good goal. Not like even like a So commercial. you can take me out when I'm an eagle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that one's Tyler. <laughs> Fuck just that goes eagle. Out <laughs> way to like hit eagles. <laughs> like, why would you attack a bald eagle? It's America's bird. It's like, I know what he's doing. <laughs> I'm into the ocean. Let's hope I'm taking out enough thrill to get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So at least Jared and I had a good answer. So it wasn't a total waste of a question. But yeah. Um, 
What would I want to? What's one goal? I just want to graduate high school right now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of my goal. Um, I mean, and then do you are you actually afraid of that, or or are you more like I just want to be fucking done? I just want to be done. Yeah, I just want to leave. Yeah, and take the rest of my life going. <laughs> Jesus, it's yeah. been so long. You are a senior now, right? Yes. So yeah, you're definitely feeling that senioritis hard. I've been in school for so long. <laughs> I just want to be done and then I can go to college, which is still school, but it's like better. It is better. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. When you were little, who was your favorite superhero and why? Okay, well, mm. this is... This is good for Easy. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, since we're boys and we're uh, nerds. I have Batman. I probably didn't even have to put there. in that. <laughs> I say, like, yeah. Batman, Spider Man, pretty much always. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it. I know it's generic to say that. Like as an adult, that might not be my answer, Spider Man. But as a kid, there's, I'd be lying so hard to not say Spider Man. Yeah, and even even as an adult, it's like he's, he's still, still awesome. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's still not still like cool. oh, Spider Man fucking sucks now that I okay, know. No, yeah, okay. he's gotten better. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. He's, this movie's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Favorite superhero, except for Spider Man, Batman. So <laughs> Spider Man, Batman, the two best ones. All the like obvious. Um, I also did like. Shit. I liked Fantastic Four. I liked Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah, I think Wolverine would be. Kind yeah, of Wolverine. I mean, yeah. Well, most if you're thinking like logically, him or Superman, because then you're like invulnerable. Right. But Wolverine's just the coolness factor. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the he's you like just stab Superman. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Deadpool would be cool too. That's yeah, kind yeah. of an obvious one though. Yeah. Um, but would wouldn't you feel like you'd go crazy being able to see past the fourth wall? Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah, that'd know. be so weird. It'd be just like <laughs> you would know things no one like, else knows. <laughs> <laughs> one day and then, you're just like, oh shit, I'm living uh, in a comic book. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow the, the grim reaper is trying to fuck you yeah <laughs> and it's like thanos is trying to fuck her <laughs> and you're like damn dude i'm pissing thanos off yeah you're like man i don't even give a shit this isn't even real <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone's just fucking with me right now yeah yeah this is all they're just trying to ruin my life because some little kid wants it yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah god that would be you're cool. like who the fuck's ryan reynolds <laughs> <laughs> yeah I guess uh, Green Arrow, maybe. Yeah. Just because, like, he's kind of cool, but he's, he's also... He's like the Batman of the... He's kind of... Yeah, he's, like, not nearly as cool Batman. Yeah. Like, he's goofy. Yeah, yeah but and because of that, he can kind of lay low a lot easier, too. Yeah. And he's still got money, he's a, so... He's literally Batman with arrow, a Pretty, bow and arrow. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of... that's. I mean, it, it is weird when you know a lot about his story how similar he is to batman but someone just ripped off batman <laughs> someone just ripped off batman. but i mean he is cool why do they keep making like green arrow show why don't they just make a batman show or, like, they show? did it's called gotham no like it <laughs> have you seen the new season of that yet no i haven't seen any of gotham Every- everyone's oh, afraid true. of fucking up batman like i think that's true like I mean, uh, Zack Snyder wasn't afraid. Yeah, but... <laughs> Zack Snyder wasn't afraid, and look what we maybe got. Like, maybe he should have been. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think I think about that. Monster. I think about that constantly. How Batman was the most respected movie superhero ever, and then that movie came out. Yeah, and now he's a fucking joke. When it was like, so it went like there was like uh, Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson, and everyone was like, "Holy fuck, it's, it's Batman! He's like the the comic book movie," and then pretty much. Like every other movie was kind of garbage. Yeah. And then Christian Bale. Yeah. Kind of brought, brought everyone's it back. Everyone's like, "Holy fuck, we forgot about Batman." Yeah. Like, yeah. He was, he's Batman's awesome. cool again. Yeah. yeah. And then Zack Snyder was like, "But what if he was?" Yeah. What if we? <laughs> what if, what if we yeah. took Batman and then made him bad? Yeah. <laughs> like genuinely shit character. Yeah. Like a terrible person <laughs> played by a terrible actor. <laughs> and he kills people. Shots fired. And Batman also shot uh, shot fired shots on people in that movie so yeah there you go like literally <laughs> kills people yeah, he fucking fuck kills out people, people yeah. <laughs> for no reason <laughs> <laughs> they could they could have changed <laughs> you don't know their circumstances <laughs> maybe they... mean, batman's not even supposed to kill people in the first place I, but that's why <laughs> that's why you don't kill people <laughs> yeah because <laughs> you don't it, it just doesn't make any sense it's, it's like so dumb. okay also he left joker alive anyway 
Like, he had, like, he could have just... In BBS? What movie? No, like, in uh, Suicide, Suicide Squad. Oh, Su- I, I didn't watch that one for, for, because it's I... probably good. I gave up. Good thing. I gave up on DC at that point. Well, now they're making another Batman movie with, uh, what's yeah. his face from... Uh, Robert, Robert... Yeah. Is it Plant? Robert? No, no, Robert... Robert. Who's Robert Plant? Robert, Robert Plant's <laughs> the lead singer of Led Zeppelin. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> that's why I know that. Uh, Ro- no, fuck, Don't tell name? Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, if you're listening to this, skip past that. <laughs> yeah, Joey, don't pay any attention. <laughs> yeah, Robert Patterson then? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, Patterson? That's, oh, okay. That's, uh, yeah, he was Edward in Twilight. I don't um, know. I think he's got the look for Bruce Wayne. I feel like he could be a fine Bruce Wayne, but I mean, you, you just, I mean, I need to see a trailer before I say he's a terrible actor. Right, like, yeah. Uh, they uh, confirmed the role for Alfred. Yeah, he looks. You know, not, I no, but is he like not an old man? Because sometimes they've been doing yeah. that lately. He's like an oldish man, like in his fifties or something. That's yeah, fine. he's not that much older than. Yeah, he's in his like fifties or. I mean, if, I mean, Robert Patterson can look young. Yeah, like, I I don't know true. how old he is, but if this, someone told me he was in his early twenties, I could believe that. Mm-hmm. So it, I don't know what angle well, they're going for with this, but. I hope a good one. I mean, I would, I would see him as a young Bruce Wayne. I think that'd be fine. Yeah. But I don't know. I I I really hope that movie does good. Uh, it's, but like, and then I think uh, I think I, I think I heard Riddler as the villain. So I heard, that could be. I thought good. I heard something yeah. about Penguin too. And two yeah. Things. So Penguin was supposed to be Jonah Hill, and then that rumor was <laughs> it was squashed. That rumor was squashed. Jo- Jonah Hill declined the role of yeah. being in that movie at all. Why well, would? And I don't think I don't think they approached him to do Penguin. I think they approached him, and then people speculated it would be Penguin, even though Jonah Hill's not that fat anymore, and, and he doesn't look. He and wouldn't... also, Penguin, don't do Penguin. Don't don't fucking do it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that character. Do a better villain. Do, yeah, like Riddler. like the Riddler. Right. The Riddler is good. There hasn't been that many and, takes on it. Only yeah, it's, Jim Carrey. it's been a while. Jim Carrey. It's been yeah. a while since we've it seen. It could be him. refreshing. It could be something different. Yeah, I think that could be cool. So basically, this question is Batman's the answer for all three of us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, mine's Spider Man down. Yeah, I would definitely one hundred percent choose Spider Man. We would all we would all be Spider Man. Spider Man's so cool, man. <laughs> yeah. He's like he he's would, so, he he's so wanna, fucking cool. Yeah. I'm so glad he's back in the MCU. Yeah, and and the Venom crossover might still happen. I'm pretty sure it's actually like going to happen, but yeah, they just haven't that's said officially cool. yet. So we're, it's literally the best of both worlds, because that was the only good thing about if he was out of the MCU is is if they they're probably gonna do a Venom crossover. So yeah. now we just have everything. We <laughs> it just, all worked out. For we the just best. won. Yeah, yeah everyone. Yeah. yeah, we win. The fans win. Yeah, no one else won. Suck on that. <laughs> big corporation <laughs> that's also um, uh the sonic trailer oh yeah they fixed it yeah they fixed sonic yeah. and people are like oh if someone made an article that said um now everyone's just gonna complain about every movie <laughs> and see if they get their problems fixed like good yeah, yeah. like that's what that's, why that's they, what should happen yeah, yeah. that's what should, if you make a well, bad movie and to me, people should tell you you made a bad movie and then you should change it when they first said they were going to fix it i was like that's crazy that's that's gonna like halt the movie's production and like it's not gonna come out on time which it didn't and it, it's gonna cost a shit ton of money for sonic which is not the biggest video game ip but they're just like no we're doing this <laughs> so and it's awesome I, i'm glad they are because now everyone all these other big corporations who fuck up they better yeah they're gonna be like oh well, sonic now. did it we should do it only yeah. if sonic does well though sonic still oh bombs. yeah then they're gonna I, be I like, think it'll do what well. I think, I I think it'll s- do well. I it's just not gonna do it. really, really good. I honestly am probably gonna go see it. Yeah, I like Sonic as a kid, and Jim Carrey as Eggman might be so bad it's good. So yeah. I just love Jim Carrey. I'm gonna. Jim Carrey is just kind of like a real life insane person too. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know something about Jim Carrey. He's awesome. No, he's cool. He like went crazy for a while. Now he's back. Okay, he's not crazy anymore. Um, I don't know. He's, I mean, he like went kind of crazy. I think he's still. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, it, he has a documentary on Netflix about his one movie he did, and uh, I don't know. But Jim Carrey has like his home is literally just like. Oh no, that was on comedians with uh, in cars. Yeah, getting his coffee. his home is just literally like all these paintings he's done. He just paints constantly. Yeah, because he's rich, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> So, yeah. So, I mean. 
I mean, maybe yeah. maybe he's less crazy because he's an outlet now. I don't know. I, I don't, but like... I don't care if he does good and like people complain about Kanye West all the time too. I don't give a shit who people are in their personal lives. If yeah. they if they still produce good art, I don't give a fuck. I so. don't like to learn about artists mostly just because of that. Because if I find yeah. out they're a shitty person, I'm like, oh yeah. man, I'm gonna be thinking about it, that the whole it time. It literally yeah. only matters if you're like Chris Brown and you beat a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I'm like, that I don't, I don't like fuck with that. Somebody or... Oh yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like I don't fuck with Jeffrey Epstein anymore now that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never. I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> I honestly had no clue. Who yeah, he was exactly. Until that thing. He's just like a super powerful man, and yeah. No, he's he killed himself. Oh yeah, air yeah. quotes. Completely killed himself. Broke his own neck. I don't. Yeah. Want to... <laughs> Broke his own. Shot neck. himself in the back of the head <laughs> twice. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. talk about that too much because yeah, we no, might no, get it's... flagged. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. It, it, but, uh, I mean, the Clintons it's... will come after us. <laughs> it's kind of like an obvious joke, but yeah. I mean, you know. Bill's just outside the door. Right <laughs> yeah, he's just like, oh, shit. <laughs> I knew it. It's like, Hillary's going to make me kill these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Clinton just goes around killing people. <laughs> Tell the cops. Just, Bill Clinton is the killer. <laughs> he's like, he doesn't send people to kill people. Call the he cops. kills them themselves. Who are they going to believe, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> the cops are fucking kids, too. <laughs> like, I'll just kill them. Literally everyone yeah. fucks kids. I don't literally, know what you yeah. guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna make more jokes, but I'm I'm done. With, I'm done with that. I'm done with that bit. Right oh there. my god! Yeah. <laughs> All right, move on. Next, let's next, go, question. next question. Super Spider Man. Yay! So that, we're, we're on question five. That's okay. Fine. Uh, who is your hero? Like a parent, a celebrity? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Know. Man, these are really not skip that one. Yeah, I yeah. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? Swim? <laughs> Is that the most obvious answer? Because that's that or just I mean, I do like hanging out outside in general. Yeah. So I like sleeping. Yeah. Oh. I don't get to sleep often. Oh, oh yeah, you're off you're school. In school. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't I I'm I work so more young. in summer, so <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but also I get bored in the summer because <clears throat> yeah, all I do is have less to do. Yeah, I try to hang out with my friends as much as possible. Otherwise, I just be in the basement. Just a, lo- a lot of my friends have graduated college now, but that's good. When I when I was in that period, I did look forward to summer for that reason as well. I could just hang out with people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if they made a movie of your life, what would it be about, and which actor would you want to play you? Um, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. <laughs> is that what it's about? Or is it <laughs> yes, <laughs> Johnny Depp. It's just Johnny Depp doing what he does best. <laughs> Johnny like Depp. Day. And then at the, the very final scene, is he walks in front of a mirror and it's Shane's reflection, <laughs> and they both like put their hand, like do the same thing. They put their hand up and then they like, boom it down, and, and then it's like, whoa, we're the same person. <laughs> and then he touches the mirror and they trade places. <laughs> <laughs> but he's. The whole time he's dressed up like Jack Sparrow. Oh, that's what he was. <laughs> that's me. All right. But is he just like that's accurate? Hanging out around like like your high school and stuff. Yes, dressed up as <laughs> Jack Sparrow. <laughs> your friends are just actually in the movie, <laughs> and they're like, "This is yeah, this is the same thing. This is just normal." <laughs> Shane always dressed up like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Shane's always <laughs> <laughs> talking about going to the Black Pearl and all this shit. Kind of <laughs> Davy Jones or whatever. <laughs> I don't remember all the shit. Yeah. And what would it be about? I mean, there's not really my life is I've only lived for fucking like what what's that? What's okay, you ah shit. Jeremiah might know this. There's a movie by Nick Cannon called Drumline. Well it's not by Nick Cannon, but Nick Cannon is in it. And he's about he's a high school marching band drummer. And it's like I'm... it's like bring it on, but with high school marching bands okay but that, okay so that would be my what my movie is about yeah but yeah but jack, not, sparrow. <laughs> <with> jack sparrow <laughs> he's just like johnny just like at high school in class. Yeah. <laughs> that is one i would love to meet johnny depp johnny depp 
Yeah, that's, we're going to have him on as a guest. No! <laughs> yes, we will have guests. <laughs> no! Tommy was so <laughs> no. to play me. Tommy was so. Yeah, that's, but it's how you talk. my movie. <laughs> it's because then the movie would be famous because of how bad it is. <laughs> sure. It's about <laughs> being in the marching band. <laughs> And, and the drama, the, yeah, <laughs> there, yeah. Of course, there's uh, obviously there's gonna be some sex scenes. So probably for me, just like okay, so Hannibal Burris <laughs> as you, as me, as Jamma. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, ah, fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, but then just like literally, just like a basically a mockumentary. Just of yeah. my life. But Hannibal Burris just like stops and goes like, man, this shit's whack. And like, wow, something like that. <laughs> Do you want me to like say examples for you? Yeah. Okay, so it'd be like your mom being like, you can't watch this movie because there's aliens in it. And yeah. she's very overprotective. And then he goes, man, fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and your mom's like, Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's what I got. That's my pitch for the Jeremiah movie. The Jer- yeah, just like super conservative family that lives in the middle of the woods, and like everyone else, it's like it's cast to look identical to my family except for him. Uh, what about you, Tyler? Mm. Or should I say Taiwa? That's how I should have introduced you. Oh my god, I missed such a great opportunity. <laughs> Next episode. Um, next episode. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just spell it that way. Like, <laughs> this is the podcast with your host Shane, and I'll write Taiwa. Like, Taiwa. T Y W A H. Yeah, Taiwa. <laughs> um, fuck. I don't know what I'd want my movie to be. It has to be about like me in real life, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you can, I mean, you can take liberties. Oh, sure. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll find a workaround, and just have a bunch of scenes where it goes inside my brain. Yeah. And it's like turns to a sci fi movie. And so it cuts in and out of like the most mundane, boring shit possible and then goes into science fiction every so often to explain what's going on in a in a different and cool way. Yeah. That'd be kinda cool. Because otherwise the shit would be boring as fuck. I actually like yeah. shit like that too. Yeah. And so then I would have like a dopey looking guy as the main character. I'd probably make him look uglier than me. And then in the movie version or like the science fiction version, it's like really cool. Who's, I don't know. Who's it? Uh, the guy who played... Well, no. Fuck that guy. Uh, <laughs> mm, uh, first of all... You know what? Robert Patterson. We'll have Robert Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> Has a superhero in space. <laughs> superhero in space. <laughs> and then, like, everything he does is, like, a metaphor for, like, making bread and <laughs> like, doing a normal-ass job and Just playing like video games. Chief sandwich maker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we'll just have like months. I don't know. I can't think. I'm, I have writers for this shit. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> just Robert Patterson, <laughs> Robert Patterson in sci-fi, but my life. That's, <laughs> yeah. Work with it, right? <laughs> yeah, work. Do it. <laughs> That's all Do I'm giving all. you. That's all he got. All right, ready for the next yeah, one? Yeah, we'll move on. If you were an ice cream flavor, which one would you be and why? That's so. Cookie dough. <laughs> cookie. Yeah. Obviously, I like cookie, cookie dough. dough. Yeah, probably cookie dough. Like, <laughs> it's like the best. What the fuck? It's the best ice cream flavor. I don't know. Does cookie dough represent who I am as a person? That's the question. What does cookie dough represent? I I don't know. <laughs> Diabetes. I don't fucking. Know. <laughs> I don't know. What would you be then, Tyler? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! I've never thought so hard about ice cream before. <laughs> I don't know what. How would it I I do like Rocky Road. I how like cookie you, dough too though, to be fair. I do yeah. like cookie dough a lot. That's good ice cream. How are you supposed to pick an ice cream and then be like, this is why? Yeah, and like, this is no why good reason and give to an be actual an ice cream. good logical answer. <laughs> because me and chocolate ice cream have a lot of similarity. That's some like people both people discriminate both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so like making random shit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I like cookie dough ice cream because this one time <laughs> when I was younger, my grandma made it, and so that's why. <laughs> okay, all right, that one was done. Fuck that one. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite cartoon character and why? Oh, 
Oh, uh, I guess the, Stan. So we can't... no Stan's dad from South Park. No, oh, oh. Randy Marsh. Me up. He Randy said Stan. Marsh. I was like, who are you talking about? Uh, yeah, so, so. Randy Marsh. I always forget his name. I just call him Stan's dad. <laughs> I call him Stan's dad a lot too. Yeah, Randy Marsh is pretty good. <laughs> He's so funny. He cracks me up. Um. <laughs> I'm so startled. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about that today. Um, <laughs> That's from the Cloverfield parody episode, in case people don't know. Where if he, you don't know that, he says, you don't, then you should watch. I'm so startled. <laughs> <laughs> um, Either do you have one, Jer? Because Probably Roger from American Dad. The a- oh, yeah, the alien. alien. Yeah, because you want to dress up as a woman in multiple Wait, different costumes. Cross- <laughs> Wait, is it supposed to be who you are? Is, no, or is it's it your, your favorite. favorite. No, oh, yeah, just... yeah, never mind. I was no, yeah, I'm still but... on that train. <laughs> no, yeah, it's like I, I don't think I'm sorry to cross dressing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, you go home tonight. <laughs> find it. You're crying while you're putting on makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck did I even get this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. Hmm. Favorite cartoon character? Uh, I do... Mm, no, fuck. I don't know. I want to say one that's not a superhero, because that's kind of... We just did that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, like, Spider-Man! Batman, Spider-Man's yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know. Favorite cartoon character? I mean, probably... You know what? Patrick Star. I mean, <clears throat> it's hard to beat Patrick Star. Like, he is, like, oh. iconic. I really like... Uh... Finn from Adventure Time. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Finn or Jake. Yeah. Or Marceline. Or Marceline. A lot of Adventure Time characters are probably... That, that show's so good. That, yeah. That show's really good. It's just a, a good show. And oh, but I guess uh, between Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, Donald Duck all the way. Okay. I don't know what you guys think. Wait, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy? Yeah, out of those three. If we all three oh, have man. different answers, then it's perfect. I'm probably goofy, honestly. <laughs> well, then I have to be fucking Mickey. No, you don't. You can Mickey, be Donald. No, Mickey's. You can both be Donald. Mickey's re- I hate <laughs> <laughs> Don't God. say it. I can't don't say, say that, that word. <laughs> <laughs> Shane has never... I've never heard Shane say that, if anyone's asking. I've never heard him say that word. Say what? Um, Responsible. <laughs> Mickey's... He literally is. <laughs> and it pisses me off. <laughs> Pluto. Pluto. You, why is he uh, on a leash all the time? <laughs> <laughs> that is really weird. Why is he a pet? Because Goofy exists, and he looks like Pluto <laughs> when you Pro- really look at him. <laughs> yeah. Some people say that Goofy's a cow. Goofy's but not he's a cow. Not. He's got puck teeth. He's piece. skinny as fuck. What do you, how is he a cow? He's yeah. a man. He you could say he's a cow. bull. He dates the other cow. I know. Okay. He, but he doesn't have horns. One and okay. two, he looks like a fucking dog. It is kind of weird. His son is one hundred percent a dog. Not a not a cow. That's yeah. for damn yeah. sure. And I'm but pretty that sure movie's t- not canonical. He's he's got the droopy ears. Yeah, you know what? Max doesn't really appear in a lot of. Uh, it's because it's not canon. There's Goof Troop. You know Goof Troop. Goof Troop is where his neighbor. <laughs> it might be on Disney Plus. <laughs> it probably. Is. I don't yeah. have Disney um, Plus. I hate Disney. Wow. All right, we're gonna get we're into gonna, this. We're gonna, talk <laughs> we're gonna about it. You know, we're gonna get into it right after this. But no, yeah, it's literally on here. I have Disney Plus. So. <laughs> okay, good. No, yeah, because it's it's a topic. Yeah, it's a good topic. Um, I it, about it literally it. just came out this oh, week. That's when I wrote this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> um, uh, but no. So Goof Troop. So there, there's like Ducktales, which is about Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, Scrooge McDuck, and then Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Everyone knows Huey, Dewey, and Louie because Disney actually puts them in shit constantly. Yeah. And there's also, like, a reboot of DuckTales. And yeah. there's also Quack Pack, which came out in the 90s where they were edgy teenagers. And they're all voice acted by the girl who does Bobby Hill. <laughs> and Donald <laughs> Duck was in that one instead of Scrooge. Because Huey, Dewey, and Louie are the nephews of both Scrooge and Donald. I know every I know all the lore Wait, so for, the, for the Ducks. Wait, so Donald and Scrooge brothers? And, hold on. Okay. Launch pad <laughs> is it also not only is he in DuckTales, but he's also in Darkwing Duck. So Darkwing Duck is somehow connected to the cinematic Disney Duck universe. Okay. <laughs> wow, you've actually like <laughs> Well th- these are all nineties cartoons and I didn't they weren't airing when I was a kid, but I watched the reruns. Okay. Which counts. Did uh did Darkwing Duck ever show up in House of Mouse? No. Okay. Because Darkwing Duck kinda is its own thing for the most part. But Scrooge was invented for like the Christmas 
Carol. Yeah. Yeah. So he's kind of like going to be in everything forever. Scrooge is in Kingdom Hearts. Like. Yeah. And so are so are Huey, Dewey, and Louie. But Max, he's not in shit. Max is in Goof Troop, and he's in the Goofy movies, which are based after Goof Troop. Goof Troop is when Max is a kid, and Pete, you know, the the villain character, yeah. is Goofy's neighbor. And then his, his son and Max are best friends, which that's also in Goof Troop. Or that's also in the Goofy movie. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, so they're well, all, I heard those somewhere... are connected, but, but Max is, like, literally not in shit besides that, sh- those, like, well, two things. Because I, li- I, I don't know where I saw this, but it's out there. Yeah. That- it's just non-canon. Like that whole movie is non-canon. And Max is, does not exist in the well, actual the, Disney. The, the Goof Goof Troop universe, the Goof Troop world, is really weird because it is more similar to like normal human society. Then when you watch like a Mickey Mouse cartoon, it's like I don't know. It's just kind of like for babies, I guess. So it's like a lot different. Yeah. I don't know yeah. how else to explain it. Whereas in Goof Troop, they don't do crazy wacky jobs. They just have like their standard normal mm-hmm. jobs. And they shop at grocery stores, and they go to school, and it's normal. <laughs> so, so that means all the goofy- and also everyone is whatever the animal Goofy is. <laughs> Everyone's right. a- like literally everyone. No one. There's like no duck showing up or nothing. So no mouse. So the Goofy verse is the gritty, edgy <laughs> reboot yes. of the Mickey yes. Mouse universe. Yes, that is now not canon. And all the, I in in um, Ducktales, there's a lot of ducks, but there are some of the Goofy creatures there too. Okay. okay. I don't know what they're called. They look both like what? Pluto and Goofy, so I'm assuming dogs. But I think it's funny that the character named Goofy is about like the whole other universe is all serious ish, but the character itself is named Goofy. So it's supposed yeah. to be like. Are you looking it up? No, I'm gonna show you another duck cartoon. The might might be. Do you guys know this shit? The uh, Ducks? They're oh. superhero hockey players. Oh, okay, yeah. They right. have like hockey. Yes. I like vaguely remember. I'm gonna have to like put if for the YouTube version, I'm gonna have to like put a screenshot up of this. But they're based off the actual NHL team, but they're like literally fucking ducks. <laughs> and they all have different armor with different powers. Like one of them has like a sword that this guy always has like the goalie mask on. And That's like, awesome. Yeah, yeah. A guy with an eye patch. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, this, do you? The sword guy. Like, this shit was the Look bomb, up. bro. Um, I had some toys. I had a toy of this guy with a weird thing on his bill. <laughs> do they do the thing that, like, all those, like, late 90s cartoons do where they can, like, oh, God. compile? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I guess they That was, like, hyper realistic. <laughs> where, <laughs> where they, like, turn into one oh, big duck. Is... No, they don't. They don't turn into a Voltron duck. Okay. No, that's. That's super unnerving. <laughs> that is. All right. Well, this is more weird. like it, this was like literally. I should probably be facing this one when I talk. Well, this is like yeah. There, it was just like another like Power Rangers kind of show, I guess, because they had like it's all about selling toys basically. Yeah. So, but the show is um, still cool. So, and there's, what's that? There's also a Super Nintendo. Game. Have you guys ever seen the something about penguins? And they like shrink down. Are you talking about three, two, one penguins? Yes. Yeah, like yeah. so. It's, three, two, it's one. part of the VeggieTales extended universe. Is it really? It is. Sam, what is universe. with all these fucking universes? Um, and they would go off into space because there was the like British grandma and then the yeah. totally not British yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they'd like just go fuck around in space. I'm and not then gonna... They'd always wreck. Okay, so I yeah. did go to church like. Until I was like in eighth grade, but I've never seen Veggie Tales. So I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, Veggie Tales is honestly really good. Yeah. Except for the whole like Bible part. Really? That's like really oh, kind of anything involving Christianity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you're probably not wrong. I probably would have liked like, it as a kid. I don't know. I mean, yeah, as a kid, could, I was like, rewatch Tales is the shit. You could yeah. rewatch some of them now and probably like Still get a laugh. Yeah. I like, like on Twitter uh, the official uh, the Veggie Tales facts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's oh. like nothing related to Veggie Tales <laughs> at all. Yeah. Oh my god. I have to look at them. Um, oh, what's going on? Oh, it's a download of this game illegally. This is Cold Shadow, which is a Super Nintendo game Disney released. Well, you played as Donald Duck, but it was Donald Duck playing a different duck. It was literally Donald Duck. Okay. The box cover said Donald Duck as, like, Mild Mallard. <laughs> okay. So he was, it was Donald Duck, but he was playing a character. But in the first level, you had a gun, and then you turned into this ninja <clears throat> guy, and it was a duck ninja, okay? So Disney went crazy with the duck stuff, 
but it was fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, being, being able to be... Oh, yeah, where's the ninja logo? Yeah, like, so, such a small image. I don't know. I rented this game once and was like, I love this game. Even though it's fucking, it sucks, but it's just cool that it exists. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all I um, want to say. So, VeggieTale Facts. So, in the, <laughs> in the bio. Everyone go follow VeggieTale Facts on Twitter. Please, it's so funny. Uh, it says, are you a fan of VeggieTales? Want to expand your veggie, <laughs> veggie knowledge? Here at VeggieTale Facts, we tweet trivia for fans like you. And the first, the pinned tweet is, slap my big vegetable ass. <laughs> <laughs> the bible the bible silence on premarital toe sucking is deafening <laughs> it's so funny yeah. you just tweet shit like that and Obvi- it cracks like, me up obviously stupid ass shit yeah <laughs> oh my god they have the same that's, thing but with like wait a spongebob minute. facts that's not that's not like the veggie tales movie at all <laughs> yeah. but in veggie tales so uh larry the cucumber yeah. His name was Larry, right? Yeah. He would, he used to be, he would be like the superhero sometimes called fucking something. Oh, Larry know. Boy. Larry. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Boy. But that's no super. That's first. That's your secret identity. You can't make well, it Larry you Boy. Know what? I was like five when I saw. Why him not Cucumber Boy? So me and James. James used to argue that they were two different characters. Oh my gosh. When we were little. <laughs> His <laughs> name is fucking Larry. No, I was like James. It's literally a pickle in a goddamn costume, and he's got toilet plungers on the side of his head. It's a cucumber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, his name is fucking Larry. Yeah. yeah. So and his superhero name is fucking Larry Boy. <laughs> so he was like kind of like Batman. In That's a the way? dumbest fucking thing. He was like ever fucking... Batman and Spider Man, but if right, they were right. a cucumber, yeah, <laughs> like he like uses, bat cucumber. His whole thing is using plungers, and he has like a plunger mobile, and he uses grappling. Not even that it wasn't why is this plungers, not... like, like well yeah like plungers but like toilet plungers. Yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So he would like have a grappling hook that had like plungers <laughs> on it and attached to a string. Anyway, there was this video game. Also, there was like some movie. The video game was fucking the awesome. Veggie Tales video game. What the, the no, fuck? The going Larry on? Boy video game. <laughs> Larry, the Boy. Larry, the Larry Boy video Boy. game. I it had up. it whenever I had it on the PS2 or some shit. I have very vague memories in the recesses of my brain of me just loving the shit out of that game. <laughs> <laughs> what yes. The fuck is this? Shit? It's so fucking amazing. Is that even? That's not even P- oh, yes, PS2. Yeah, okay. PS2. Larry Boy and Sonic. Larry okay, that's, Larry Boy and the Bad that's Apple. Fake. That's fake. I mean, it says PS4. And the Big Apple, yeah, that was the movie, right? Or no, that was the no, movie here's, here's that the came out in collaboration with the game. Yeah. Right, so, someone well, modded Larry Boy into Mario Kart for Wii U, so if you want to mod your Wii U, you can play as Larry Boy. I would I would do that in a heartbeat. There's, there's, no, the tires would be plungers. Yeah, though. no, they should. <laughs> there, there's they should a, I went that. to a website, because I used to mod Smash 4. Yes, I still have my Wii U. someday I can show you guys my Smash Four mods, but um, they had mo- like someone replaced every single character in Mario Kart, and there was like SpongeBob and like oh, that's cool. Shrek and like Invader Zim, all these like weird characters in it. That's always cool. Wait, so they replaced Luigi with Larry Boy? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Larry Boy and Luigi are basically the same character. You've never seen them in the same room at the same time. So uh, yeah, I feel like War like uh, Wait, Waluigi this? is more. What is this? Oh, that's he's also. Oh shit! They have another video game. He's also Indiana Jones. Yeah, no, yeah. he's he's everybody cool, and that's Mister One. It's the potato. He has no eyes. Because of <laughs> Dude, the... he used to creep cr- the fuck. <laughs> yeah, we've out. talked about this. Like you were like like Mister Lunt. Ter- yeah, and he had the cheeseburger song. Yeah, the like. Why is the ve- potato singing about cheeseburgers? I well, it's like vaguely kind of sexual too. Oh, yeah, like it's like a romance song about cheeseburgers, and but Larry's in I a saw bear the... trap. Yeah. What? Yeah, in the beginning, he's st- Larry's stuck in a bear trap, so they bring out Mr. Lunt to sing about cheeseburgers. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember that part. I just remember it, it would creep me out as a kid because he had no eyes, and he would just be floating around in space talking about a cheeseburger, and I'd be like, this is really weird and uncomfortable. <laughs> like, Larry Boy Arkham City? Oh, I yeah, wish that was a game. That, <laughs> I would, yeah. I just do a, do a Larry Boy impression for me, because I've never heard him. Uh... I can't. It's been too it's long. It's very high and squeaky. Yeah, he's got... He sounds... Okay. Who does he sound like? Like, uh... 
I don't know, just really Larry, nasally and high. My name's Larry, hi. <laughs> no, like higher than that and squeakier. Yeah. Like it's... Okay, yes. I mean, he's like a... It's probably like ripping off Spongebob a little bit, would you yeah, say? Yeah, it's a little bit like Spongebob, but if Spongebob had like a little bit of a lisp. Okay. <laughs> That's not... Put up like... He's a cucumber with super suction ears. We may indeed be seeing the return of... Larry don't, don't even call him Larry Boy. <laughs> I hate that name. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it makes it, it's funny. He can't talk. It'll reveal a secret identity. The mayor and even Larry Boy struggling against their own temptations. And to defeat her, they must learn an important lesson. None of us is strong enough to fight temptation on our own. Can That's his voice. Yeah. That was him. Uh, it, it does sound like Spongebob. Yeah. yeah. I'm they, ready! They came out before Spongebob. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, Yeah, it was whoa. like 90... So you mean to tell me the colossal uh, cartoon giant that shaped a generation is a ripoff of Larry Boy? That's what you're trying to tell me. Well, Larry the Cucumber. We're, we're saying that. Well, I don't know Larry the Cucumber because, I mean, that's it's alleged that that's even the same person. It's and a, it's a I, I only know about the superhero. I wouldn't know about a normal cucumber yeah. and his, what he yeah, does. That, that is true. He never... One, I, all I know is there's like a Jonah and the Whale movie. That one wasn't as good. And it's, no. it was Larry, wasn't it? Yeah. No. No, Larry wasn't. First Larry of was all, like only a little bit. He was one tomato. of the pirates. Oh. Yeah, because it was a, oh, oh, it was the Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, so oh my God. They have, Jones, they have Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. Uh, the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's a vegetarian. Oh, movie. I have heard that. I have heard we that. It's, it's yeah, actually it's good. Yeah, okay. It's actually Look, a very good I'm not here to shit on VeggieTales, but if I could say one thing. If Jonah was a vegetable, no one would give a fuck if a whale ate him because you eat, you literally yeah, eat vegetables. Okay. Yeah, they, okay. Okay, so I'm just throwing that out there. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> okay. You want to uh, talk about Disney Plus? No, I still want to talk about what, what were we talking? Oh, 321 Penguin. Yeah. Okay, how do we get to, okay, 321 Penguin is, is a part of VeggieTales universe. Okay, so kind of. I want to talk about 321 Penguin. It's by the same Penguins. company, for sure. Okay. And then they have, like, I think some it's, references. It's about, like, it it's up. about yeah. like, the Bible and stuff. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's about the but fucking Bible. It's not even about the Bible. It's just, like, like hey, about don't be God. selfish. Yeah. And it's, like, because God doesn't want you to be selfish. And yeah. Then, and then they almost die. And, then, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I would watch it as a kid, and I thought it would be the coolest shit, because, like, they would shrink down and... Oh, I, I forgot look- about Kevin. They're superheroes. No. No, they're like uh, space marines. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, okay. They just have like a suit. Space force. Yeah. That's what the space force is going to be. <laughs> this is what Donald- yeah, he's got Trump's hair right here. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I-, I loved that show. I loved that. Because <laughs> my parents would get it. It was at the library. And my oh, parents yeah. were like, oh, here's like some fucking shitty movie we can plop our kids down in front of. Yeah. And... You know what the best, like, <laughs> Christian superhero ever was, Don't though? say Bible Man. It was fucking Bible Man. I never... ...against you. Exodus 15, 7. That's right. I'm the greatest. No, it wasn't talking about you. I never watched it. I just know he had a lightsaber. He had a lightsaber, <laughs> but not. But he was, like, he was Batman with a lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. And then he just murdered the fuck out of people. <laughs> he just <laughs> killed them. He just, like... <laughs> <laughs> Because they would be like, bless them, I, Father, for I, they have sinned. And yeah, like, no, it wasn't them. even like like some <laughs> some guy would be like t- telling kids like lie to your parents about like, I, yeah. where you're going after I, school, and then they'd go to the library and they go home, and then he'd kill that guy. Like <laughs> I I have seen like a promotional video that was like it, it was like one of those paid programming commercials where they're just trying to sell people Bible Man. Yeah, and I watched it. I remember be, thinking, cause, and I was really Christian back then, but I remember thinking it was really like really corny because super corny he would he would literally be like it'd be like a guy be like Meh, yeah yeah sin be a sinner and he'd be like sinning is lame and then like fucking kill him <laughs> no this is like it's like uh we, come, tell me tell me some sins shane what's some good sins uh murder no we, besides no because bible man does that yeah and so does god so we well, gotta not do murder better if you've got god on your side right uh, god can murder because he makes the rules yeah and so can Bible man. Yeah. Sleeping with somebody's wife. Yeah, that's a good one for kids. So it'd be like, <laughs> don't. <"Meh." laughs> yeah. It'd be like, ha, I'm married. Why don't you fuck me? <laughs> and Bible man's like, premarital sex is a sin. 
and so is adultery, and like takes out another sword, <laughs> one for adultery, one for premarital sex, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cuts, him. <laughs> cuts him in two pieces. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like that. Uh, another, <laughs> it'd be a little, it'd be like a little boy, and he'd be like, I, I don't know about this, and he would start <laughs> fucking someone's wife. <laughs> uh, and this is and Bio Man's like, I'm going, I'm, I'm, you know, he's, he's, uh, what's the word when you're like spying on him? He's like camping him out. He's doing a stakeout. Stake out, he's stake doing out, a stakeout, okay. and he's like, "Yep, that's Timmy. He's <laughs> he's fucking that that guy's wife." <laughs> and he's like, "But first, before I spring my attack, I want to make sure I'll watch a little longer." <laughs> 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 and then you know, then he. Then well, he and he always waits for him to do it first. Yeah, like, really. He always waits yeah. until they're done. Yeah, he waits until they're done, <laughs> and, and then he, he walks up to the kid. A cigarette, yeah, <laughs> kid smoking a cigarette. Damn, <laughs> being an adult's awesome. <laughs> and then Bob no, no, no. like, not really. And he kills me. She was a nurse. She saved lives in Vietnam. <laughs> I don't have a like a thing he says. <laughs> Well, God hates <laughs> Vietnamese people. <laughs> just like, doesn't even like hide the, the bigotry. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Well, God only likes white people. Yeah. God bless America. And he was actually <laughs> dressed like a crusader too. Oh, really? Yeah, kind of. I know. Well, I know he was purple, and he had a cape. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And well, he, his his uh, like suit a... was silver, and then he had a purple cape. Oh, okay. And then a lightsaber. Oh, you know, it, yeah. Since we're looking stuff up, I'll, I'll show Shane this too. And Shane has this thing, Bible Man. Oops, that's Shane. <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> it's just a picture of Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah. That's straight up Batman. Like, oh, that's like the kid version. Yeah. Where's like the? Wow, there's like a cartoon. Okay, now. so it's yeah, scroll up. It's like this. It's uh, okay, yeah, that. Uh, that's yeah. like the black guy is and then, cool. That's Cipher. <laughs> Cypher's a fucking badass. Cypher is badass. Honestly, first of all, yellow yeah, sunglasses. Hell yeah. Second of all, yeah, he's got like. Like fans, yeah, with blades on them. No, he's supposed to be like Nightwing, but if Nightwing oh. was into the Bible, <laughs> <laughs> look at that fucking lightsaber hilt, though. Wait, what does she have? The a staff. I know, but hold on, but she's like holding the entire. She's thing. holding the glowing green part, <laughs> isn't that? <laughs> does the glowing green stuff burn you or not? Death only, battle between it Link only and Bible Man. <laughs> Wait, what? Death battle between Link and Bible. Who I would mean, win in a fight between Link from Legend of Zelda and Bible Man? Of the Bible. It's 100% Bible, Bible Man. <laughs> of Revelations chapter 2. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm going with Bible Man. I mean... Yeah, no. So he literally can't die. Like, people have killed him and he comes back. So he's like the reincarnation of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> okay. He is Jesus he Christ. Is, he is Jesus. What if Christ. the guy who plays Bible Man just thinks he actually is the actual reincarnation, and he's like, <laughs> "This is what Jesus would do if he was alive right now. He'd be a superhero. <laughs> that, he makes a superhero cartoon for kids." Another like it is cool, but look, upside down cross because he's got a cross on his arm and he's holding his arm upside yeah, down. Yeah, but the upside down cross is actually like a Christian symbol. Yeah, that was uh, what it's the cross Peter, of Saint Peter. Peter. Yeah, Saint yeah. Peter. But don't they don't do that no more? Well, because everyone... now it's like it's Satanist it's, yeah. kind of thing. But like originally, it's the cross of Saint Peter. Oh, well, maybe it's not that offensive. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I tried um, to be edgy and I couldn't do it. This uh, yeah, where do you go? That that is like prime cipher right there, where he's only oh got like gosh. he doesn't even have a mask. He just has like a monocle. Yeah, bring up the big picture. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Bioman's had a lot of revisions in his costume. Oh, yeah. No, like, literally every movie, he has a new oh, costume. Oh, this is what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Bioman, Genesis. He's, like, destroying, like, scientific uh, stuff. He hates science. Yeah. <laughs> he hates science. <laughs> uh, the cartoon, actually, like, has, like, I don't know. He's got, like, a more traditional sword. I'm not gonna find put up all these pictures up in the video, so I might as well stop talking about pictures. But um, another video you should look at on YouTube is SOS Family International. It's like this Christian cult, <laughs> and basically they're like, it's like a bunch of songs, and it starts out with all these people on computers, and then they're like, technology is bad. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then like, are, is it like, like they, are they trying to hide what they're really saying, or is it really like upfront? It's like upfront. Yeah. Yeah. And it's then like, like there's... global warming is a hoax. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. But it's like kinda old. And then there's like some girl 
who like leaves to go to the grocery store and they're like, no, don't go to the grocery store. Their barcode scanners will melt your brain. Where oh. like, yeah, they like have all this oh. shit. Wait, so wait, when, what, do you know what year it's from? <sighs> no, it's old. It's from at least six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> they just copied off Bob Dylan. <laughs> um, Bob Dylan, but Christian. <laughs> Are you really yeah. doing another one? Hmm? You're doing it. Wait, oh, this is just your notes? Yeah. Okay. We'll skip some of the um, icebreakers. The br- ice has been broken. We are 55 uh, minutes in. The ice is fucking broken. Uh, yeah. Oh, so we can uh, only have 83 minutes, right? I'm not worrying about Spotify for episode one. Okay. But, but uh, I do, I'm trying to shoot for like an, uh, like a hour 45 or something like that. Mm-hmm. something decent yeah. uh do we want to talk about the name of our podcast because we totally don't have a name for our podcast yeah. yet uh we're gonna have to have some help with this i think but we need a snazzy title um we that need also represents we who upload. we are no i know but <laughs> but um, so whenever this is going up there'll be the title but just know that we <laughs> didn't get that far <laughs> when we were recording um I don't know any ideas for one. What what's uh hmm. No, I have no fucking clue. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um something hmm. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> at namings at names. Yeah. Just coming up with shit. Um yeah, something original. And Tyler, Tyler, Shane, or maybe it should Tyler be first or Shane be first? How much of a diva will you be? Uh, I'll be all the diva. I think <laughs> Shane should go first. <laughs> Shane go first. <laughs> the Shane Tyler. People think your name is Shane Tyler, but that's fine. Shane Tyler podcast. <laughs> the Shane that's Tyler just, podcast featuring Jeremiah. <laughs> that's so like, like boring. Though. I know, but. Uh, um, Shane Tyler experience featuring Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> I always like. I always, there's like a Simpsons joke where it's like, the what's Moe's last name? Like Squizlack, Sizlack, or something like that. He's like the most Sizlack experience featuring Barney Rubble or something like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Barney Rubble. That's from Flintstones. I'm sorry. I think it was featuring Homer Simpson, but it was like a four four person like group, and he was like most Mo. Moe, is the name featuring Homer Simpson. <laughs> and it was like, it had four people, but it was only featuring Homer Simpson. It was something weird like that. And that, that always fun. stuck with me when I was like in fourth grade. I just uh, thought about that all the time. I haven't seen enough Simpsons. Yeah. Well, now you can with yeah. Disney+. Plus. I started watching it again. Uh, really? Like, you started in season one? Yep. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to... Season one is like, full of like, wholesome family sitcom stuff. Yeah. And then, and it, it's good for that reason. Some of the best episodes are season one, but it's not... When you get to like the prime funny stuff, that's like a whole different level of Simpsons. Um, so but we can just talk about Disney Plus. What is? Look, make a stance right now. My little brother told me he's not going to get Disney Plus and he's going to pirate the Mandalorian, and he said, "Fuck Disney." <laughs> so I agree. you agree? I think it's so fucking dumb i hate that all these companies are putting out their own streaming service yeah for people to pop, fucking buy because they're greedy I, i'll say and they want fucking more money i'll say this i wanted to watch mandalorian and i haven't used it after i watched mandalorian <laughs> like, and and someone on twitter said you guys are seriously paying money to watch old movies you probably already own right and which is uh, true and there's true. not it like, is true there's not like Part of it, why I wanted it, though, was for the Pixar stuff I haven't seen yet, and yeah. also for The Simpsons. Like, literally, strip. I wanted to watch Simpsons on it. And then eventually, we'll get, like, an Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Also, there's going to be a new season of Clone Wars. Basically, if you're a Star Wars fan, it's, you have a good reason to buy it. Yeah, but other than that, it's just, like... Mandalorian is good. Anyway, if anyone wants to... <laughs> no, I'm, I won't spoil anything, but it's good. I just yeah. think it's so dumb, because then, like... There's already, you know, a fuck ton of streaming services. Yeah. It's just going to turn I mean, back I'm not, to... I'm not getting rid of Netflix. No. Yeah. It's just going to turn back to what the cable company was. Yeah. Where you just pay but, one fee and then you get all these subscription services. I, I do. I want to make a counterpoint now. Because I'm making points on both sides. <laughs> that um, I'm not going to get the fucking NB- N- NBC one. I'm not going to get it. I don't yeah. give a fuck about anything they produce yeah. at all. That and is true. You can kind of pick and choose yeah. what you want. And I and I but, think they're gonna fail. I think gonna, I don't I don't think the office will keep. Will, well, they've been failing, right? 
because they have the the last two or three years they've had a Star Trek series that oh, literally yeah. no one has seen, even though Star Trek is like right behind I, Star Wars. I've heard that too. You know, Star Trek fans don't give a fuck about it, and yeah. you. If you, if you make a Star Trek show, it has to be a certain way. It has to, honestly, if you're a Star Trek fan, you should be watching Mandalorian because it it had it's a more like hardcore serious take on the, the Star Wars universe. But like, you can't make like a light hard like the Star Trek movies aren't really made for the hardcore Star Trek fans. That's made for the like the mass markets. Yeah, I love those movies. By the way, I love all three of them. But I'm not a giant Star Trek fan. I just kind of know some things and respect the show. Yeah. So. And yeah, the fact that it's failing is like just shows they don't know what they're doing. There's also a, a Picard. They're doing a show that's literally about bringing back Picard. Yeah, yeah. And it's failing too because you can't. Oh, it's out. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's actually out. But okay. I, but I'm pretty sure no one. There's no hype for it. No one cares. Yeah. Because you can't. I mean, me and Shane talked about this like last time we worked, that people just bring back the old actors and think it it works. Yeah. And Terminator they, they, is bombing and right, Ghostbusters. They, well. Ghostbusters isn't out yet, but no one cares. And right, I mean, no one, no one cares about that shit ever. And every movie is going to be bad because now the only two that did it right was well, I won't say did it right. The only two it worked was Episode Seven because it was like the first one to do it. To do it, and then people really like the new Blade Runner movie. Yeah, I've heard it's really good, but that mostly stands up on its own, and it's actually it just happens to have the direction is actually kind of different from the original, from what I've heard. And Harrison Ford's just kind of in it, but and he's playing Decker. But, like, it's not... That's not what the movie's all about. It's not about, like, being like, hey, we got Harrison Ford back. Yeah. It's more it's like... It's got it, its own plot. It's got yeah. its own... Which is... Yeah, that's so dumb in its own self. Because then they're like... Instead of making a good movie, they're like, oh, we can just make a shit movie and put old <laughs> actors that people like it in. And yeah. People will pay to see just because of that new actor. And... And yeah. it's just kind of ruining everything. A lot of times when they're older, they're not as good at acting. Yeah. <laughs> and... They like, yeah, it's like, it doesn't. It's not some the still same. It's not do. the same. Some are still amazing Harrison actors. Ford. Yeah, Harrison Ford killed it in Episode Seven, and he said many, many times he doesn't even like Star Wars that much. Yeah, but when you watch Harrison Ford, he's pretty much compelling like every time you see him. So yeah, except I, for I really uh, Return like of the Harrison Jedi, Ford. but that's oh yeah, that he just didn't give a fuck about Star Wars anymore when Return of the Jedi came out. It's really funny. People have like fan compilation scenes of like Harrison Ford being a fucking like goofy <laughs> being really goofy <laughs> with his delivery <laughs> and they i guess everyone was like yeah that seems fine <laughs> just let him do it <laughs> that movie's hilarious but um but no harrison ford just he always kills it and i mean that's it helps he was in episode seven and blade runner and that's probably why those movies did, did better than these other ones harrison yeah. ford's yeah. an actor and there's talk I mean, of doing another indiana jones which is like if oh you, if you do Indiana Jones, you kind of have to do Harrison Ford. I don't want a reboot of Indiana Jones. Want, yeah, I don't want a new Indiana Jones to begin with. Even yeah. with the Crystal Skull, is like it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> it's bad. Pretty bad. Um, they should have just left it with the three. So I watched two or whatever. Crystal was, Skull. Yeah, three. I watched three. Crystal Skull first before I watched any of the other three because I saw it in theaters. And my parents just kind of took me to it. What's the third one? Uh, Temple of Doom. Temple. No, of, that's the second no, one. Okay, the uh, the one Holy Grail. Yeah, Holy Grail. It's the, yeah, because uh, Sean Connery is his father. Yeah, Sean Connery. Yeah, fucking badass. That's not the best movie, but like, it's still cool. It's a good yeah. One. It's but um, but you, but, I, but I watched Crystal School first in theaters, and I was just like so surprised people didn't like it because I was like, this was pretty good. And then when I watched Raiders of the Lost Ark, <laughs> I grew a huge appreciation for like older movies from that. I love Indiana Jones. I grew up on them. Yeah, dude, Raiders of the Lost Ark is a f- fantastic movie. I don't care if it's like the most, cli- like it's only cliche now yeah. because it was so successful back then. So I don't yeah. care if it's cliche to say, but like it, no, it really does deserve all the praise it gets. It, and then yeah, in Temple of Doom, they have like that like that movie's good iconic yeah. scene where he just goes like "Golly Ma," yeah, and then he yeah. rips the dude's heart out. That's yeah. Temple of Doom, awesome. <laughs> like <laughs> that's just awesome. That's just awesome. If you watch the if you watch Raiders of the Lost Ark and then Temple of Doom, Temple of Doom's so much like a sillier. Movie, yeah, yeah, and it's so like, it's, it's like way the more first violent. Kinda, like, yeah, <laughs> the first one's kind of like serious, but then yeah. like the second one's kind of like making fun of itself almost. Yeah, well, yeah, and then the third one goes back to like serious. They're suppo- you're right, but yeah, they're supposed to be like inspired by like serial, like old serials, and they're not supposed to be so serious. Yeah, so 
I kind of like that. That if it's like watching a weird show with like, because if you watch the show, some episodes are gonna be weirder than others. You cheat, Doctor Jones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> lots of weird decisions you're doing. It's like it's like goofier and way more violent, and then yeah. <laughs> and then they go back to like yeah, like you said, the that third was... one feels way more like the first one, but with a little more boring in my opinion. But yeah, it's, it's still good. I still like it. Sean Connery is just another Sean Connery. Some old actors are actually like awesome. Sean Connery is one of them. So, yeah. and uh, I'm blanking on his name. Well, we're talking. Wait, who? Harrison Ford? Who are you talking about? No. Who else is in that movie? It doesn't matter. Okay. I was just. It was someone. <laughs> just <laughs> some older actor who's really good. Shane's got something on his mind. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, you just need to let. Oh wait, so Disney? There's so many. Does Disney own that shit? Does Disney own yeah. Indiana Jones? Yeah, yeah. Because that's Lucas Films. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I bet that's on Disney Plus. Then. Oh dude, it probably already. I was gonna say they better put that on, but you know, I'm right. I'm watching Raiders of the Lost Ark again yeah. sometime soon, and I plan on watching. That's not club. Yeah. Well, we'll get to it because I want to watch yeah. more horror stuff first. Yeah, so should, I. I love horror make... movies. Dakota watch Terminator One in anticipation of Terminator Two, and then we're watching like Raiders of the Lost Ark. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're watching Terminator Two. Um, yeah. Terminator Two is we don't even we haven't even <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, well we should get to that after. Yeah, Disney let's Plus. just push it down. Let's just let's, push. Let's it get down. to Disney Plus. Let's get back to uh, Indiana Plus. Jones and, on in Disney Plus and but, uh, how reboots are ruining the movie industry. Reboots, and, yeah. God, I hate reboots. Just stop. Just make but the Disney, good movie once. Disney and then Plus it's done. rebooted High School Musical. I don't care. <laughs> no, that was, did, like, high There's a new High School Musical show. And I, I hated it when I was like 11 high years school old. High School Musical was yeah. like, oh, okay. Okay. If you're a boy younger. and you're in high school, which I was, you're yeah. not going to actually like high school. But if you're a boy and you're 11, you have a chance to like gay ass shit. Yeah. Or, and or you <laughs> grow and like if they me. couldn't get you, then that's bad. Yeah. I was like, I liked some some really gay shit when I was 11. <laughs> and so, like, yeah, it was, that, it's like <laughs> that did not get me at all. Yeah. Also, I was I grew up with two sisters and my older sister kind of controlled what we watched, so it was either yeah. like she loved High School Musical and she loved Hannah Montana, so that's really what I watched. Yeah. And I tried to watch like Johnny Bravo or some shit. She's like, <laughs> "No, that's that's awful. I hate that show." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, I have to watch your shit." Johnny Bravo fucking is Johnny Montana. fucking hilarious. I yeah no that I didn't understand that I was just like oh this looks cool but yeah he's just funny I wasn't allowed to watch Cartoon Network as a kid anyway because yeah. my parents yeah. were like it's rude yeah <laughs> it, no, I mean yeah. no but it really was like Cow yeah. and Chicken if you've ever seen that show Ren and Stimpy when they like she'd milk herself yeah that no, was oh like, my god fucking it, hilarious. the camera no, Ren no, and Stimpy that that was Nickelodeon. Oh, but it's like the same but that, thing. But that show was like one of the first Nickelodeon shows where they had to like rate it like more uh, like this is for older kids yeah it wasn't like, like tv 14 whoa, whoa, whoa. but it was like Don't it was like this. it wasn't tv 14 but it had like a higher rating than just like, like normal PG yeah yeah it was something yeah. like that because i mean no but no if you watch ren and stimpy ren will walk up to stimpy and go you you bumbling idiot and his hand will go giant and it'll just slap the fuck out of stimpy like slap backhand slap back and it's slapping the living shit out of him so he's yelling at him and then beating the shit out of him <laughs> and then stimpy will cry and he'll go i'm sorry ren and he goes sorry doesn't cut it <laughs> i've watched a lot of ren and stimpy it's it was fucking hilarious but it's, i'm surprised i was i'm very shocked uh, it, yeah and weren't they supposed to be just like a gay couple too so it's uh, like a domestic well, abuse situation I mean, you could take it that way. I don't yeah. know if it was intended that way. They did an adult version later. Yeah. People, where they were gay. People right? will literally post this shit. They'll post... There's an episode where they go to the nude beach. And people will post that shit and go, I can't believe this was in a kid's cartoon. And it's like, that's literally the adult version. Yeah. And they're like, there's an adult version. Yeah, there's an adult version of Ren and Stimpy where it was, wasn't very funny because it wasn't like... The jokes weren't smart. It was just like really rude. It was just like really like vulgar. Mm. There's a joke where Stimpy has a catcher's mitt on his ass, yeah, and Ren throws a ball into it. The joke is that Ren is the pitcher and Stimpy's the catcher. <laughs> it's not that funny. Isn't there another time where there's <laughs> like a the log on uh, Stimpy's back? Ass. Yeah. yeah. Back. Oh yeah, and, and Ren. Ren. Yeah, and people go, "I can't believe this is in a kid's." It's the adult version. Yeah, that's it's the cool. only Ren and Stimpy I've ever seen. Yeah, and <laughs> so like I was like, this no, is but just like no, but the oh man, the old stuff. 
That's uh, yeah. So when Netflix did the Rocco's Modern Life thing, I asked JMI if he watched Rocco's Modern Life. He might have not seen Rocco's Modern Life either. But I remember like a little it, bit. It was on I Nicktoons. Seen something about it. It might not have been on Nickelodeon when you were a kid, but it was on Nicktoons, which is why I, think, I watched a lot of reruns on Nicktoons. I think I, I I think I've seen something about it before. Yeah, and I but I, I watched that Modern Life. Yeah, that thing. On, uh, <laughs> on, oh yeah, on, on Netflix. Netflix. Did you movie. like it? Yeah, I liked it. A lot. Yeah, it was it was handled really well. I really enjoyed it. But um, the fucking like I forgot like when watching that like even the little songs they would do for like the big heads and all that stuff. I remembered or the fat heads. I remembered like all that shit. And I was like, oh my god, it's so much is coming back to me. Yeah. But like the superhero guy was he was like, now stare into my nipples, and it's like that's how that's how it used to be. Like yeah. we got away with that stuff. Yeah. And um, Red and Stimpy was the same way. The superhero was, he had like a super buff body, and he wore like all white with a cape, and his head was just French toast. His name was French Toast Man. His head was just a piece of bread. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> and yeah, and then Log. Log is a children's toy where it was literally just gave Sorry, you a log. Just, just yeah. They literally just gave you a log. And, and there was a song. And everyone just like loved logs. And, and, and it was like canon in the show. It was a commercial... That would play in between the like the episodes because it was old cartoons would have like fifteen minute episodes and one thirty minute show. Mm-hmm. So in between episodes, it would play weird shit. It's like this is a commercial for logs, a toy for kids. It's just literally a log. <laughs> 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 and then like in some episodes, like there'd just be like log stuff, <laughs> and Ren's like, "Oh my god, it's a log!" <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, no, that's the no, Ren Stimpy and Rocco, and those are and Angry Beavers. That's another fucking fantastic show. Um, like I, I'm a, Angry Beavers, we might know more. Angry Beavers is fucking hilarious. But, um... To get back to Cartoon Network... Um, oh, oh, fuck. Cartoon Just Network the... just... That was the first... when I Whenever Cartoon Network was, like, on where I could change to that channel, because at first it was, like, only Nickelodeon. Yeah. When I could finally, like, watch Cartoon Network, there were so many cartoon butts, and I was like, What?! You can't do a cartoon butt. <laughs> and there's so many. And, and that's when it kind of became more standard, I guess. Cartoon yeah. Network just didn't give a shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what show was I going to talk about? On Cartoon Network? You like Johnny Bravo? No. No, I don't know. Can we all agree everyone pretty much likes Kim Possible? Kim Ooh. Possible is fucking awesome. Yeah, everyone likes Kim I'm at, Possible. That's, I, that's already on my list on Disney+. Yeah, Plus. yeah I've never, I haven't watched every single episode and there's a lot in the later seasons i've never seen because i'd stopped giving a fuck so, i'm pretty sure i've seen every episode already yeah it was a good show yeah. that their feminist propaganda worked on me worked on me hard yeah <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just i'm trying to think of that's not real no. <laughs> just, <laughs> in case anyone's wondering i'm just i'm trying to think of i was trying to <laughs> just turns to the insult podcast shit. Incel. fuck oh kim possible <laughs> if Kim Possible came out today, people would be like, "Oh, it's just a fucking one." Ron is such a cuck. Yeah, yeah, Ron's yeah. a cuck. I mean, he pretty much is, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> so is Wade. Every, every, yeah. They always do that though, because in in girls in shows where the boy's a main character, the boy wants a girlfriend, and the show where a girl's main character, the girl never gives a fuck yeah. about dating, or if they do, it's like a one-off thing here or and there. Or they want the like super cool guy yeah yeah yeah. there's like all the guys that if the show was about the guys it'd be about trying to get the girl yeah yeah but like then there's the guy who's like uh it's they're never like the main focus beautiful the guy is just yeah he's just like a super beautiful guy like wow that guy's beautiful yeah (laughs) he's like a skateboarder but kim possible yeah there was no like she just didn't give a fuck in kim possible so yeah 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 until later on whenever they got like married or whatever yeah yeah I know, I know she ends up dating Ron, but I don't give a fuck about that. I never really cared. <laughs> uh, I uh, didn't care about if Kim Possible fucked anyone or not. <laughs> I She can just die a virgin. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so can Ron. Fuck him. <laughs> you can't be named Ron Stoppable and have your pants fall down constantly while you're a spy and get fucked. I had a toy that did that. Like his pants, his pants <laughs> I, down. That was his thing. Yeah. <laughs> his pants fell down. That was his thing. That and he ate nachos. He was a very, like... Kim Possible was like the perfect human being, and Ron was just like supposed to be like a relatable a- a- average yeah, man, yeah. but he was like a kind of slob. <laughs> I mean, his last name's Impossible. No, his, no, la- his last name's Stoppable. Because oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can, you can. Kim is possible. Everything she does is possible. Nothing can, but but she, it's like, yeah, nothing can stop her. But like literally anything can stop Ron. Yeah. So yeah, 
Um, another really good cartoon is Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good one. It scared me. That yeah. that show I didn't like as a kid and it didn't even scare me. I just didn't understand what it was trying to do. And when it I terrified watched it, me as a kid. Yeah, well, some of, the, some of the later seasons, uh, that's when I got really invested in the show. I hated it, all the like. But like, I, I wanted to watch a show that made me laugh, and that show took a while for me to like really appreciate. Yeah, that that show's use of three D models. Oh yeah, yeah. Scared the fu- like it would just randomly go into three D oh, models, yeah. and I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so off putting. And they would do that. I didn't like whenever they would do like like real eyes and mouths. Yeah, on things. Was, oh, they did it I love that. Like movie. where they, it's the real like yeah. where they video record the lips and stuff. So there, I love that. There's show. a. Uh, I know, or like just the face. They would have. I know like we want to talk about face. courage, but there is a uh, Looney Tunes cartoon that came out in like 1990 something, like way later than when Looney Tunes, you know, existed. Yeah. And it was literally just Bugs Bunny talking to um, El- Elmer Fudd, the shooter cowboy guy. Uh, yes, somebody Sam. Sam, I'm just gonna call him Sam. Okay. And uh, Daffy Duck was at the end, and they did the whole rabbit season, duck season bit. Yeah. And Bugs handled all of that. And then it was like, ah, now to go to bed. And he was eating like a really weird space carrot. Space carrot like made him all like fucked up on drugs. And when he woke up, um, Elmer Fudd was like, I want to be your friend. I don't want to fight you anymore. And he's like, what? No, I, I, where's the battle? Like, I want, I need a conflict. I need an intellectual uh, equal to fight me. And he's just like, no, we're friends now. And he's like, this is stupid. And then he goes and fe- meets uh, Sam. And he's just like this one JPEG. It's like dancing back and forth. And this is why it's creepy because as a kid, you don't understand these like animation things. And you're like, what the fuck's wrong? <laughs> and I forgot what Sam wanted to do, but he, <laughs> it was stupid. It was basically, it, at the very end, Daffy Duck was animated so poorly that they used the human eyes and mouth on him for like one, like one close up shot where he's using the human <laughs> eyes and mouth and then it just like goes away. <laughs> and it, literally the whole episode's about how cartoons are like, way too watered down for kids <laughs> and they think kids can't handle intelligent conversations and also they don't put any money and budget into them so they look like fucking shit because old Looney tunes and, and disney cartoons look beautiful yeah and there's a scene where porky pig comes out of the drum and it's like a robot porky pig and he's like that's all folks and bugs goes no it's not and throws him out down <laughs> and he pulls like he breaks the fourth wall grabs the curtains like flings it back up and he's like i'm getting to the bottom of this and he goes on the spaceship and like sees aliens like replacing everyone it's fucking awesome i've never heard of this ah uh, i had it saved on my dvr is it I... space jam <laughs> no but it, <laughs> but it came out a little bit after i think huh. but it's i mean it's true i mean cartoons around the 90s started getting a lot different from, yeah, they're they're kind of yeah. They just watered down everything. I mean, it's like they used to, like I mean. Columbine. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah, you're like, not wrong. Columbine yeah. and nine eleven just like completely like. They're like toys kids and can't TV watch this anymore. Music, yeah. Like this is way too bad. And yeah. then kids were like, "What?" And luckily, Cartoon Network would air that, and they would still air a lot of like they'd air Tom and Jerry all the time, which is like that show's super violent. Like yeah. you literally, Tom's the bun uh, the bunny. He's the mouse, right? Or is Tom the cat? Tom's the cat. Tom's the cat. Jerry would fucking grab a hammer and hit Tom in the head with a fucking hammer. Yeah. <laughs> and it would just show it. <laughs> yeah. It would just show him, like, bashing his head with a fucking hammer. Or he'd, like, like run through his entire that it's not body. Real and, like, Kids understand you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just funny. Yeah, it's just funny. Unless for the some kids that don't understand that, then they actually fucking, like, kill their parents or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't. I mean, whatever. I got to. Walk. They put. They still had Naruto on TV. There were still people beating the shit out of each other. So I'm fine. Yeah. With it. I couldn't watch anime, so I was like, I was just <laughs> "That sucks." <Yeah. laughs> that sucks. Except for Sonic, I could watch the Sonic anime. Yeah, I guess your parents understood. They just didn't give a fuck. Oh, but they didn't. Break. They didn't know it was anime. They weren't up at 7 a.m. to watch Sonic with me. So. <laughs> Sonic was really fine for kids. Okay. So we kind of we touched Disney Plus. It's hard to talk about Disney Plus because we basically said what we needed to say, which is that it's stupid, but The Mandalorian is a good show. Yeah, and also hopefully I'm it gets watch better. Basically everything on there. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, that's so, and that's the thing. So I saw a Snapchat story of one one of my friends watching the original Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, and loving it, and then another one sent me a snap of them watching Aladdin and loving it. And yeah, I mean Disney owns a lot of stuff. They own a lot of shit. So 
Right. Yeah. But I mean, I can't just justify buying a full subscription. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For... And and the the other counterpoint is that. If you pay like a little bit more, you can get Hulu and ESPN as well. And I already had Hulu, so I basically am paying like it's like two fifty for ESPN and yeah. two fifty for Disney. Yeah, yeah. So you, you paid like five bucks more than you were. Yeah, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like and then you got and you got like two yeah. more services. Yeah. And one's like all the Disney stuff. So one's that's... all the Disney stuff. One's all the sports. Yeah. Like and then like... you and then you still have Hulu. You already had it, but you still and that's have Disney that. Disney anyway. Like yeah. if you own Hulu. Yeah. So that's you're already paying. Disney. So like that's the thing that's the thing that nbc is not going to have this is the thing that like none of the other ones are going to have none of them are going to have other services that are worth being bundled in because there's literally nothing else unless they make a, a deal where you get netflix with it the only which other is not going to happen is so. hbo max is coming out yeah and you're getting crunchyroll dc universe ooh, ooh. all of the uh, hbo ooh. stuff ooh. all the warner bros stuff oh it's like it's going to be fucking sick uh, but like, also like, it's the same thing as disney get, plus where they the, Harry Potter. And... Yeah. Yeah, Warner Bros. owns Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Mortal Kombat, Batman, all the DC stuff, obviously. Fucking. Uh, if you've seen the Lego Batman movie, there's a scene where all these so Warner Bros. properties are just in it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Warner Bros. owns all those things. So, yeah. 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 Which is. It's. it's That's the thing people want Marvel to do, is they want a Marvel thing to include Star Wars and, and other stuff. Or they want, like, a Disney thing that includes all of them. Yeah. And and I mean yeah, Disney Plus has it. You can watch all of them, but they're not in like a crossover thing. But Marvel's like we're we're just crossovering it with ourselves right now because we have so many things. Yeah. But that's what people want Marvel to do, and Warner Brothers is already doing it. They're like, yeah, put Batman and Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter all in the same thing. It's fine. Warner Bros. is a little bit looser with this. That's why Zack Snyder got to do what he did. Because yeah, yeah. If you tried to do that with if it's like uh what's his name the guy who got fired from guardians oh james gunn yeah if james gunn came up he's like okay so i really like this like uh star lord character but like yeah. what if he just just like kills everyone yeah what if he was a what if i just or something? yeah like, what if, what if <laughs> he like tries to justify rape in his movie yeah <laughs> not like justify why it's good but justify why you should show it yeah yeah, yeah. but and but like, it's but zach snyder and he's not very well james gunn isn't zach snyder but but you know he's just not very sophisticated. He's not talking about it in a respectful manner at all. Yeah, <laughs> his own. And it just ends up in the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like why did you do that? And it's like I don't know, I, isn't Sucker Punch about some shit like that? Sucker Punch about like uh... sexual abuse. I haven't seen it. I just remember people said like, I don't know. Everyone loves that. Not everyone. A lot of people that. hate that fucking movie. But some people love that movie, and they try to just say it's smart. It's not. <laughs> You're wrong. What is um? Is Marvel not in? Any Marvel movies in Disney Plus? Oh yeah, no, all yeah. of them are pretty okay. much. Now, I, I don't know all the Avengers ones are. Hulk, the Hulk movies aren't because Universal still has some rights. Okay, and but, but, I don't but know about the no Spider-Man one cares ones. about Hulk. I, uh, I fucking love Hulk. So uh, the Avengers movies are in it, including oh. Endgame. So Endgame's even in it, which is pretty dope. And uh, I saw a few other ones in there too. I, I, mean, I mean, Captain Marvel's in it. That's like the big one. So I mean, yeah, I don't care about Captain Marvel. I, yeah, no one does. <laughs> I hate Brie Larson. They they were really like promoting the shit out of that on the main page too. I was like, who's who's gonna watch well, this? I, like, I think Captain uh, Captain Marvel uh, did perform well. The movie did. Yeah, I just it, hate Brie Larson. It did not bomb. Which, but I want that to send a message. Whenever um, you know, whenever a movie with uh, all female characters bombs. Like when Ghostbusters bombed, yeah. and when the new Terminator movie is currently bombing, and it has like they brought back Linda Johnson, but also the new super robot hero is a girl, and also that Ocean's Thirteen or Ocean's Fourteen or whatever yeah. Yeah. was like an all-girl reboot of Ocean's Eleven. None of those movies are bad because it's girls. Because Captain Marvel sells really well. They're bad because they're really dumb ideas. They're not original. Captain Marvel is like, yes, it's a superhero movie. But it's like a new one, and it's a part of the Marvel universe. So yeah. it's it's not because it's a girl. Yeah, that's not why. It's also, just compared. To it's like, also like Star Wars didn't do bad either, and that's like they no. have a new. They literally took a franchise with male leads, gave it a female lead, and it did really good. I actually like her it, as a lead too. Right? Yeah. yeah. No, she's great. Yeah. It's not. It, it's never because it's a girl. So I just want to clear that up. Unless you're an incel, and then you're gonna be like, Yeah, we'll see. Uh, oh, okay. Else. For individual people, it yeah. might be because they're a girl. But for the mass, like for like as as well as if the movie does well or bad because people aren't watching it, it's not because it's a girl. It's because it looks stupid. Yeah. Um, you cannot make me watch Ocean's Thirteen. 
fuck that. Or, or Ghostbusters. Or fucking Ghostbusters. Like, Jesus put, Christ. They put queef jokes in the trailer. <laughs> and, like... <laughs> I, I, that fucking movie. But, but the jokes in the trailer, even when they're done by the men or anyone in that fucking movie, they just don't look funny. The yeah. jokes just did not... And it also didn't look like the old one. The old one, the characters were like slimy, like they were literally scumbags. Yeah. They were literally like misogynistic men and they're trying to like fuck over the world and like make a dollar. That's literally what they were trying to do. And <laughs> and that's a part of the, the charm of that movie. You know, you can't have that. It was like they it was like they wouldn't save the world unless like they got like double their rates or some shit like that. Yeah. They like tried they charged up the ass and destroyed all the property for all the all the places they ghost busted. <laughs> that was part of the charm of the movie that they're jerks. <laughs> and uh, and and then uh, in the the new movie they're like, you know, we're superheroes now. Yeah. Which is I understand because that superheroes are big, but like fuck's sake like, yeah that's just not why the movie was good i mean so. even like superheroes like if they did uh what, no one actually cares about busting ghosts yeah busting ghosts isn't cool no one wants to bust ghosts in real life you just want to like discover if they're real or not you don't want to actually like kill ghosts <laughs> no <laughs> one wants to do that ghost. that's not why the movie's good the, mo- the movie's good because it's fucking bill murray and dan Aykroyd, and that's yeah. why it's good it has nothing to do with fucking ghosts that's my controversial ghostbusters opinion Okay. Yeah, honestly, they could just been regular exterminators. Yeah, that well, yeah, and that was kind of the whole. Yeah. That was kind of the whole point of the movie. Yeah. Was that they're like exterminating ghosts is an untapped market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole fucking point of the movie. So. Yeah. Great movie, Ghostbusters. <laughs> so, uh, I got some other points here. We can talk about. Wait, what were we gonna talk about after Disney Plus? Didn't we have something? We we're gonna name the podcast. Club. Right? Oh, no. Club. oh, yeah. We start, okay. Because we can talk about the movies we've seen. That's why I want to do, especially because we're an hour thirty minutes in. Oh shit! Okay. So, was also, we, we can go in two hours. That's fine. Uh, we well, we we need to do this again. We're gonna like talk about everything, then we're not gonna have anything to talk about next week. We can talk about the first movie. No, but no, but we could, we'll always that. be able to talk about the movie we watch. Yeah. As okay. long as we watch a movie every week. Uh, is our podcast gonna be sh- shorter? Probably. Yeah. I I don't want to make them all. Like over hour two 40. hours. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, an hour forty sounds good, or maybe even an hour thirty sounds yeah. good. Honestly, yeah. the first time, For the you, first one, like a pilot yeah, yeah. is always longer anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, we could talk about some video games. I know the shit. Yeah, Disney. So we have to talk about Star Wars <laughs> games coming out. We have to tomorrow. talk about yeah, Disney uh, Star Wars. Uh, do you want to just talk about your favorite song? <laughs> no no i do not What's i don't I, I don't want that information disclosed to the public <laughs> it's uh teenage wasteland teenage by the wasteland who. by the who so if anyone knows um that song that's uh, tyler's favorite song i will you might think it has a different name but you'd be wrong uh, it's called teenage wasteland they say it they say teenage wasteland they say in the it, song. like nine times in the song yeah so I'm not going to even say what people might think it is. Because that's just dumb. Because it's wrong. It, but if you think that, you're an idiot. App- <laughs> apparently, I tried to look up what why it's even called that because they don't say that in the song. And Wikipedia told me like a weird answer. I tried to explain to Jeremiah. But it's basically based off of like the style that they did, like the tempo of the music in. It was based off the, like two different people who invented a style of music. And it was their two names combined. Which and it has nothing to do with the subject matter of the of the lyrics at all. They were stretching for it. so it's a, they could have just called it Teenage Wasteland. Uh, they could have just called it Teenage Wasteland. And it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. We're, our podcast what's... name. Teenage Wasteland. Teen- oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's a, that might be a good fit. Yeah, <laughs> Teenage Wasteland might be a good fit. That actually might be a really good name. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I mean, it's not like the Who's using it. I mean, <laughs> 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 what are they gonna do? <laughs> Who are they gonna? Like, what are they gonna do about it? <laughs> they can't do shit. You, you don't own that shit. <laughs> you own some other gay ass shit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should have thought that one through. Who? <laughs> yeah, fucking idiots. Idiots. Also, um, the Who. If you are listening right now, you can come on and defend yourself. Yeah, please. Who? <laughs> please come on. Come on. Talk. talk about why you name the song. <laughs> you name the song not Teenage Wasteland. <laughs> and if you yeah. approve of our name or not. Um, yeah, just call me. <laughs> yeah, keep it. We'll keep in touch. <laughs> just give us a call. Um, I'll have to set up an official email. 
when I make the official YouTube. Should we uh, like drop our Instagram and? Twitters? No, I don't want people on my Instagram or Twitter. Yeah. If you want to, you can. Um, I mean, I'm. I'm I, I was thinking about making a uh, Twitter and Instagram for us. I was thinking about Twitter, but Instagram would be good too. Just make you do all the work. Make you just tweet random stupid shit sometimes. I could be good at that. Yeah. Make you just. Yeah. I just have to remember every time I have like some bad you, shit, crazy the, ass thought in the, the back of my insane mind. Insane racist and to... sexist stuff can be on your personal Twitter. Okay. Yeah. And then the <laughs> other stuff can <laughs> be on this one. Anytime at work when we're just like. I'm not trying to get canceled. That's yeah. why they can't have my Twitter. <laughs> Are we? If we're on. If we're at work. Or my and, Instagram. If we're at work and like some kind of. I say something sh- so like weird. I, you have to be like, tweet that. Tweet that shit. Or if I'm just like sitting in my couch and I'm like, yeah, that, that's fucking, just that's make, funny. Make sure, I'm just gonna, you know, make sure like every, slap my big old vegetable <laughs> ass. Slap my vegetable <laughs> Just start naming actual VeggieTales facts. Like, talk, <laughs> talk about the original casting crew. <laughs> talk, talk about, talk about. <laughs> Yeah, that would be good. Did you so, know they're all actually fruits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you know tomatoes are fruits? Tomatoes <laughs> are fruits. <laughs> fuck anyone who says otherwise. Fucking cucumbers are fruits. Are they? Yeah. I don't know. Because they got the seeds. Out. If it's got seeds inside of it, it's a fucking fruit. So like, literally, like, uh, um, I'm not going to pretend I know enough to put my foot in this battle. So I'm just yeah. going to. But, it's, but like, if anyone wants to challenge Jeremiah, first of all, he's just a guest. He has nothing to do uh, with. Yeah. He does not yeah. represent the thoughts of me and Shane. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, please disregard also, all these controversial <laughs> statements about vegetables and fruits. <laughs> also, um, Jack Nicholson or uh, Jeff Goldblum, if you are listening to this, which I know you are, <laughs> yes, please come talk to us. <laughs> We're lonely. <laughs> there was uh, there was another one, right? Uh, Tommy was so. Yeah. Tommy was so. Oh yeah. I mean, he might actually do it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I should. Should I just? Okay, um, so let's talk, we can talk about the room next time, because that would be great, that could go on forever. If we talk yeah, about we room. could but, do that. But let's talk about, um, I'm gonna, so, so explain what FNAP Club is. Uh, first, so, sh- while we're on the okay, subject of Twitter and stuff, um, should I, Spongebob should facts? I do my, yeah, it's the same Wait, thing as VeggieTales. No, but what are you saying? Should I, should I, uh, use my personal No, we'll Twitter make a new one. And we'll make a new one. We'll make a new one for the podcast. Okay. Yeah. And then you can say dumb shit. And then we'll also post links, obviously, whenever we post. Okay. So. And, uh. So. Cool. They'll just get stupid ass shit in between important posts about yeah. our actual. Hey, we're on SoundCloud link, YouTube link, yeah. possibly Spotify. I'll also. I'll. So we can promote it on there. Also, I'm going to put something out on Instagram on my personal. And okay, Snapchat. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, you can do all that. Just a just a advertising. Yeah, 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 you can do that. And, uh, and, and I doubt I, anyone's gonna listen to it. But we could probably a, do. I don't care. We could probably do an actual Instagram for us too eventually. Yeah. Um, I don't know what exactly we'll put on the grams, but we'll we'll try something. Um, uh, man, we like really have high hopes for this, and it's just not gonna go anywhere. It doesn't. That's <sighs> Shane. The point is that you just put all your you put your all into it. And I then, mean, it, then for we you, are then, just kind of yeah. But then when yeah, you yeah. go for your next project, if you have a future in any sort of like art project, you just like, oh, I've done something stupid like this before. Yeah, yeah. and it just um, builds from there. Also, like if you if you fall hard, it feels better than falling. Like you fall and like stub your toe, you're like, oh fuck, I stubbed my toe. But you like break your arm, you're like, fuck, I like going hard enough to break my arm like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. i'm trying to break my arm yeah <laughs> I want, i'm just like, saying i'm trying to break my arm <laughs> and a catheter like I want the, yeah i'm I'll, i don't okay. i want to i want to sit on my couch and then piss into a catheter i will i don't care <laughs> that it's inside my dick I'm hole gonna, i'm gonna advertise this <laughs> i'm gonna advertise this on my like instagram and stuff yeah that sounds good try and push it out you uh, can be the hopefully face. people will of the we'll just use your face yeah i'm so pretty that'll be a really deep zoom of your face and then like me on one cheek and jeremiah <laughs> <laughs> why would jeremiah be on there he's a guest well we just put the guests every we week. can put the guests on <laughs> every time awesome. every, every That's time. awesome i have to get i need and to I, hire someone who's good at photoshop to, to oh. do stuff I, I, I I'm not, sure I could find someone at school, and I don't have Photoshop. Also, um, I don't want to pirate it. Yeah, 
I mean, buy it. I don't want to pie it. Pie it? Yeah. Um, pie it. Pie in the sky. I... Let's talk about I F- do have F- high F- hopes Club, for though. this podcast, so I about hope F- it does Club. well. I hope people... Let's talk about our first project. FNAC Club? Yeah, let's talk about Okay, our... FNAC Club. Which, that's that's what Short I'm actually forward. passionate about. Just watching movies? Yes. <laughs> 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 just, just being like, all right, let's watch a movie. Old horror movies. So, yes, yeah, dude, movies. it's so good. The okay. people are, might judge us because we're watching Terminator and Terminator 2, but first one is a horror movie. Maybe, I'll, maybe you could say the second one's not. The first one is. I will argue that, but all right, go ahead um yeah it's kind of like a slasher but um anyway yeah, yeah, yeah really fnac club stands for friday night movie nights at tyler's house yeah club club it's a club yeah uh only cool people get to go <laughs> only the coolest people get to go yeah may um, possible future guests on this podcast because i mean we possibly gonna have joey and dakota on here sometime yeah yeah hopefully whenever jeremiah is sick we'll just be like joey get in here and sometime we'll just have Dakota. We yeah. might have Jeremiah, Jeremiah and Dakota at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he'd be down. <laughs> yeah. No, I would, I would like to get some guests from... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or just people. Yeah. Just people. Uh, I'm just going to like... I'm literally going to be like at school. Like, hey. <laughs> Come to my, my co-worker's be house. On my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right so yeah so basically yeah we've been watching so, movies yeah. every friday we just started this project of we watching try, movies every friday we try to do it every friday some stuff will come up but we're pretty yeah, we're, we've been pretty consistent yeah, yeah. actually we've missed like three weeks no well two weeks well we 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 started i mean we missed some before we started <laughs> yeah then we yeah. actually started and then we missed one and then since then we've been consistent yeah next week it should be good to go i, I or ne- tomorrow i mean should be good to yeah. go we're very committed to this i came I came here even though I knew I was <laughs> going to throw up, and then I proceeded to throw up uh, like halfway through Terminator 2, Terminator. One. Yeah. Um, and then Which I one? still finished the rest of the movie. <laughs> we had to rewind. I shit my brains out in Tyler's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I, after the movie, I was like, yeah, guys, I'm going home. And then I was yeah. sick for the rest of the day, so. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun, though. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. So watching old, old stuff that um, I've never seen before. We watched like yeah, we first, yeah, first we watched Exorcist, then Exorcist. we watched Alien, then Terminator. Right now we're kind of on a science fiction kick, but we will get to like more hardcore horror uh, in a little I'm bit. Gonna, like some examples. So obviously we're going to watch Terminator 2 just because... Yeah, we got. I, I I said the rule is if we watch T1, we have to watch T2 right after. So uh, I'm making... We're doing it. T2 should be one day. Oh yeah, no, sometime, yeah. No, like, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. That, but um, no, that is why he likes the name T2 because Terminator 2 is like his favorite movies. Where, right. okay. And it's a lot of people's favorite movies. Terminator 2 is a very critically praised, <laughs> like very critically acclaimed movie. And I think you guys are going to really like it. Yeah. I really like so, it. So a lot of these movies, uh, Jeremiah and myself have never seen, which yeah. is why we're kind of watching. I never them. saw Exorcist. Yeah, we never. And I and I do want to get into watching movies I haven't seen again. But yeah. Terminator 2 has to happen first. Yeah. Uh, what else were we going to? What other kind of I literally we said one today and I already forgot what it was at work. We literally we, said we always it. like come up with stuff and then we like never. But I mean, it'll come to us because uh, really you can just look at the horror section. Uh, maybe not on Netflix, but on Amazon Prime. And, yeah, and we'll be like, okay, here's some movies, or I could just. Wikipedia. I said, oh, the original uh, Texas Chainsaw. Yes, I really want to watch that. Um, we could watch uh, Poltergeist. like Child's Play. Poltergeist, I have seen, but it's fucking good. It's it's really good. I've never seen it. I would like to see that. that. Child's Play, uh, I have seen, but um, Child's Play one is like eh, okay. It, it those movies are good because the little boy, he's a little boy, and then he grows up, and in each movie he's a little bit older, <laughs> but he's still like kind of a kid. <coughs> and so it's like you get to see Chucky follow him through his life, and then it gets to Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, and they're just straight up comedies with gore. Like they're just straight up com- <laughs> like what I've heard, like yeah. Red Man is in seat of chucky and, and you can see chucky like kill a rapper <laughs> like, yeah. it um, they get they become pretty funny um yeah. yeah and i i like those ones more i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i like those ones a lot more than the first few that might, some people might not like that but fuck be honest about the first few movies are not that i'm great. sorry about that noise that was my phone yeah you know my me and Jeremiah aren't our, aren't on our phones, but you know. Okay, well I wrote the list. <laughs> I'm kind of like carrying this podcast right um, now, but um. <laughs> yeah, your name you won your name first. Shane and Tyler presents Teenage Wasteland featuring Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, well, it'll be Teenage Wasteland. Teenage Wasteland. Featuring that, Shane Jeremiah. 
Tyler. Oh well, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? No, it'll be it'll be featuring Shane Tyler, but then special guest Jeremiah. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna have long ass titles. Yeah, it should be a just like a ridiculously long title. Like, yeah. <laughs> we just up. for the meme of it. Um, yeah. What other movie? I feel like we're missing a big one. Um. <laughs> no, we literally said one today that I remember thinking it was perfect, but now I can't remember. I know, cause. But I know we are eventually gonna watch Hereditary because Heredi- Shane has seen um, Midsummer. Midsummer. I haven't seen Midsummer, but they're it- not related at all. But no, no, no. But it's the-, the same director. Yeah, I know. I understand that. But um, Doug said Midsummer ain't shit compared to Hereditary. Hereditary is where it's really at. Oh, we need Doug on here. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, <laughs> uh, I-, I don't want to list like everyone we know, but I mean, one day people will be on here. Yeah, so. I don't want to. So. Should we talk about how we like know each other? I mean, um, just we can say we work together. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to say where we actually work because I, I don't want to get in trouble when I'm like. I already, like name drop it. When I'm, it's fine. I I don't want to because it's really generic. Um, and also we're not going to say like what state we live in, but I don't want to be like going on an incel rant and then people call my boss and then tell him. <laughs> why would we go on incel rant? I don't not incel. I don't know. It could be. Like I a don't joke know. One. Like people get. I don't. Yeah, joke I don't want to say something too offensive and yeah. then get in My trouble. dad literally, when I was leaving... But we do work together. When I was, All three of us. Yeah. When I was leaving home and I was like, I'm going to go do this podcast. He's like, be careful what you say. You, you never know who's going to know about it on the internet. It's, and I was like, okay. dad, I know. It's a, it's, I grew up like that. <laughs> it's a boomer thing to say, but it, it honestly is true. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it honestly is true, though. Like, cancel culture is huge right now. And I've seen people canceled for the dumbest shit and, well, tried to, but... I, I mean, that's kind of like when we're saying like our aspirations in life or whatever. I, our goal. I, I would not say to be really fucking famous because I don't want people to be on my on my shit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to have to well, worry about what I say. Well, hopefully by the time if we ever become famous from this podcast, uh, that culture will kind of die down because that is just kind of a bad culture. It, it is. I hate it. It so sucks. Much. And but and everyone says that, which gives me hope that it will die down. But there's still people out there. Who but I feel like this last year, 2019, it was really riled up really hard. Yeah. So 2018, too. Oh, oh yeah, people for sure. But just, the last two years just, have been the worst. It just it. has not been dying all down. All people do is, like, they go on someone's Twitter and they're like, I hate you can this search person. Yeah. You can search. Yeah. And then they just scroll all the way down. And they're like, the ones. Oh, this guy said the N-word yeah, one time back they, in, like, 2009. They're the ones who typing fired. it in. They're typing it in. They type in the N-word. <laughs> yeah. It's so... Like, they're just searching for... But, they they're just trying the to bring people down oh, uh, that yeah. are successful. And even and they're just from, like, searching for stuff. Like, people just, can change in the matter of, like, five years. Well, I, the like, context of the joke matters a ton. But also, yeah. when you, when Even you, if you say something that is genuinely racist, you can change. <laughs> right. You can change. Your yeah. opinions can change okay, in the next five if years. If someone says something so that's... So if you, like, go back and, like, fucking whoever <laughs> says yeah. the N-word in a super serious yeah, way, yeah. genuinely <laughs> make means it, like... There's okay. no telling if they still I, feel that way. I will say, if someone said, if a white guy says the N word in a joke, uh, it as, has to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but as long as I can tell there's like a legit punchline, it's not just like making fun of black people. Yeah. Then I will give him a pass only if it was like before 2009. If it was like 2000, like 13 or 14, and they're still saying it, I, I'm I'm gonna say no on that one. But um you know it just the context matters if someone says something legitimately racist it's not okay if they well yeah obviously it's not okay but if but we're talking about like years ago right so let's say let's we'll give them 10 years okay we'll say in 2009 someone said something actually racist i don't you don't you don't have to actually say the n-word to say something racist if anyone's wondering um so if you say something actually if you didn't know that (laughs) if you say something actually racist um it is hard for me even if it's from years ago it would be hard for me to forgive because I wouldn't. It's like, are you just saying sorry for to save your ass, or or are you being genuine? Yeah, and but I mean, if that's like one time, and then like they they're like, oh, it, I, and it, I mean, it also yeah, it depends on sorry for this. It depends on the other things they've done with their career. Yeah, you yeah. know, maybe they've done something. Maybe they were just in a bad place in two thousand nine. Fuck them, <laughs> and there were. <laughs> 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 and they're being, they're being stupid. Why? Why? Are we, okay. 
this is the pilot note to self never talk about offensive words ever again <laughs> yes because there's no way to talk about I keep, it i i call myself before you, I said that, you think you think we're like gonna make this groundbreaking point like white white men are gonna save the n-word but yeah, there is but no, no way you cannot we, do we it literally like this is a debate millions of people have had of course and we're white straight white. Right. we're all like super white i'll have a black we're guy white, on one day white straight you know what? <laughs> i'll have a black guy on one day and I'm like, all right, as the voice of all black people, <laughs> well, yeah, can we'll you speak for us? <laughs> we'll uh, try, we'll just all say it. Is it funny if we say the N word right now? <laughs> like, he's like, like, he's like, no. <laughs> it's like, but like, all right, what no, I actually don't want to stop. Yeah, okay, um, <laughs> it's stop. Right here. Yeah, we're like all we're but, all but, three but, of us are straight white males. So we have like no say in this. Yeah, our opinion obviously doesn't matter because we've never have you, been. Have you ever? And entertain the idea that you're gay, and I'm not saying that in like to make fun of anyone here. Have you ever like had like a gay thought? Well, no, well, just it like what, like one point in your how, life. How how like, far does it go? And I'm not saying like tell me your gayest fantasy. I'm just saying like have have like for me, I've thought because like everyone women do this too. They all everyone's like, man, I wish I was gay, so I don't have to deal with the opposite sex. Yeah, right. And it's like you know like when you say that like you already know like you can't you can't fuck a guy like yeah the idea of having a relationship for it with a guy like imagine like, hanging, like seeing a guy every day and like dating him i'm not even talking about sex i don't want to date a guy yeah. <laughs> like i don't want to be intimate with a guy i could like <laughs> so minus the sex part like uh basically like one night stand not like one level above a one night stand with a guy what do you mean like but no sex. No just, sex. Uh, you don't want to like be going penetrated. Just, yeah, yeah, like, like. Oh, well, like, yeah. I mean, I mean, ca- casually dating. Right. Like, like really casually. I could. I mean, well, I mean, I do that with my guy friends already. Yeah, yeah. I, I get dinner with them and do stuff with them like that, but we don't kiss at the end. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's no, not well, sexual. That, I mean, that's, you, that's like part you, of the sex. They go, let me walk you to your door, and you're like, oh, this guy's a bro. He's walking to my door. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, you're like, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. And he like, like leans in. He leans in. It's like, well, you can't give your friend a kiss. <laughs> and just like, yeah, what are you? A- <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and yeah, and then you just so no, that's never happened to me. And I mean, no, and I, and I, I but I, I do think everyone's <laughs> had never like a, to anyone. <laughs> everything. Everyone has at least had one gay thought. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Been like that dude's kind well, of attractive. Well, there, here's the thing, because I, I heard this on a podcast before, much similar to our own, where he said, sometimes you see a nice ass from behind. And you're not looking what the rest of it. You're just looking at the ass. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're in for like a rude awakening. And you might be like, oh, that ass is less attractive now that I know. But yeah. at that time, yeah, you were looking like at balls an ass. in front of it. Right. Like, right. <laughs> but, and that's the thing, like round butts are round butts at yeah. the end of the day. So. Yeah. We like. And like, have you yeah. ever seen like people dressed up like when guys will like wear leggings or something and they like pull their pants up really big? And the camera's just zoomed in, and it, like, unzooms out, and it's a dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks yeah. like a fuck. It just looks the same. It's a fucking ass. My we all have them. My has, so. like, the biggest, roundest ass <laughs> of, like, pretty much anyone I know. Yeah. And ev- some, all of his some... friends make fun of him. They're like, <laughs> they're like, you shouldn't be like, Jam- uh, <laughs> yeah, James. Yeah, like, James, you got a donk. What's going on? Yeah, no. They, How'd you get that donk? They're like, he, he was, like, donk? laying down on the couch one time. That's what they used to call it. And back. my friend walked in, and he was like, hey, is that someone's birthday? <laughs> and we were like, what? And he was like, yeah, because there was all this fucking cake lying around. <laughs> and That's everyone just funny. kind of vaguely makes jokes about fucking him in the ass. But like, <laughs> oh my god. But like, That's funny, though. Not in it a is gay pretty... way, yeah. yeah. No, not in a gay way. That would be totally gay to do it in a gay way. Yeah. But, but in a straight way. Yeah. Fuck it's... a guy in the ass in a straight way. But yeah, no. That's what I was saying. It's like... That's the... Yeah. You can't really choose... Who you are, I guess, straight white male. That's just yeah. But that also, it's bad because you don't I understand like the experiences. Bob and what? Bob and Vagan. Uh, it, it took me a while to understand what you're saying. <laughs> That's what I like. <clears throat> yeah. Bob, Bob's open, Bob's and with the gene or whatever. Open Bob and open. I don't know. Open Vagan. I don't know those things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, One time, your brother James. This is Jeremiah's brother. Yeah. Um, Shane, do you have a brother? Do you just have sisters? I just have sisters. That's okay. 
we all uh, we have siblings. That's what's important. Yeah, yeah. We but can I, all relate I, on that level. I have I have brothers. I don't. I have stepsisters, but they are all like are adults. You, when you, I was, uh, are you I'm like middle. The middle. I'm in, in okay, the middle. I'm a middle. You're the oldest. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And yeah. Um. <laughs> well, I had a point, but I already forgot it. Oh no! Well, Jeremiah's brother, yeah. James. One time he asked me if I uh, had a girlfriend, and that's all he did. He just asked me if I had a girlfriend, and I took it to the next level and said I never had a girlfriend, which was a lie, but I thought that'd be really funny to tell him for some reason. <laughs> I just looked at him and said, I've never had a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know why that came to my head, because <laughs> it's not true. No, yeah. So, but that's a fun thing to sell, say to people. Yeah. <laughs> it's, fun, it's fun to fuck with people. Um, I used so... to tell people I, like, had just got out of juvenile hall. <laughs> yeah. because people... That's another part. That's going to be like an entire podcast, just yeah. so you know. <laughs> what the... Our special guest, the convict. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, we'll no, yeah, 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 then it actually... We need yeah. to say that. We have, to, we have to drop hints in this one, so that way people look forward to when we finally yeah. finally yeah. do the reveal. We'll just keep dropping hints yeah. about it. Dun, dun, <laughs> Never uh, say what it is. We will We will reveal what Jeremiah... Eventually. Probably not even the next one. Just eventually. Did... Uh, or around, did not yeah. around did episode or, ten. It's or a legend. <laughs> Jeremiah was uh, alleged of something. <laughs> so in ten episodes, we will drop it. Yeah, eventually. What, uh, so what we're we saying? wrap this up? Yeah, it's about, yeah, it's, it's about two hours. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know who else is. I don't know who's going to be down. Because I don't know who actually listens to the podcast all the way. I do. Like I'm, I do, I'm yeah, watching. I do. I'm literally watching a two-hour thirty-minute one right now. Yeah. But everyone watches Joe Rogan. That's like a whole different thing. Uh, also, I, I, I watch. Uh, like the Misfits podcast and the official podcast. Oh yeah, you know yeah. I don't. But uh, you told me about the Misfits before. Yeah, I, I just like didn't watch watching it. Some of them, I guess. Oh, I used to watch Sleepy Cabin, and um, uh, do you guys know Cold Ones? Mm-mm. It's uh, like oh, Filthy Frank's yeah. old friends, Max Mofo, and Anything for Views. Yeah, and then they got. They, had, uh, they always have like really cool guests on. Yeah, who's the the kid? He's not even a kid. He's my age, but. Uh, <laughs> A lot of them are your age. He, yeah, he looks. And like they're already 12, doing much better though. than us. Uh, fuck, what's his name? Michael Reeves, I think. No, that's it's Michael. I don't know who that is. Okay, yeah, okay. So that's not Superman from the seventies. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, that's Christopher Reeves. Yeah, okay, yeah. I have Michael idea. Reeves. Yeah, he's really cool. He was on there. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah a lot of people in that network I watch. So yeah, but yeah, I don't know people who actually watch like full on podcasts. I just know that Doug and Val said they wanted us to do this, so I thought it's for, I this, is this is literally just this is literally just for them. Fun. This is literally no, yeah, I, I, I had no. a good time. No, I, I, it's enjoyable. I would, I would, I'd do this again. We're all gonna get fired. I hope so. Yeah, I, I hope we get fired. <laughs> just kidding. I would do. Uh, <laughs> this is our full time job. I really now. don't want to get fired. Yeah. <laughs> I really so, don't want this so to be my job. <laughs> this is what we're gonna. You we're can't gonna... make it. YouTube's being like the most prickiest they've, they've ever been youtube yeah. will just youtube's awful right now yeah so i mean we said a lot that would get us pulled off youtube oh no this is not the, yeah, no. yeah we're gonna and try not gonna monetize and, this. Yeah. <laughs> and record on thursdays and then watch movies, movies on, on fridays. fridays and so yeah so we'll always have um we'll get more in depth with the movie reviews later especially because yeah. next time we'll be able to talk about t1 and t2 yeah we so will we'll, awesome. uh we won't have to do all these icebreaker questions. We can just go straight into Ob- it. Obviously, yeah. yeah, that was just for the first time. Yeah, we yeah. just get in the flow. Um, yeah, because if we cut, if we didn't do that, this would probably be around the length I actually wanted it to be. Yeah. So. Um. No, I had a great time. And I, yeah, we didn't even talk about the video games. So I guess that's what we're doing next time too. So. Yeah, we have a lot to. Yeah, you know, we could make a lot of episodes. I'm. I really want to make, like, keep this going for a while. Like, make a lot of episodes and stuff. Um, see where it goes and see how it does yeah um so just wrap this up um some final questions the <laughs> we're almost at two hours yeah just go no we'll just yeah. do whatever you had for your your big finale. uh so the twitter <laughs> if you want to follow us on twitter i'm gonna make one it'll probably just be teenage wasteland <laughs> yeah probably i'm sure that's um, taken but like something about teenage wasteland. real uh, real official teenage wasteland yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, i don't know we'll do it it'll be like teenage wasteland or Teen, teenage, teenage Wasteland, Wasteland Shane, because he'll be like the owner or something. Oh yeah, podcast, podcast or something. Uh, we I'll, have to actually I'll give look you... to see if there is a Teenage Wasteland podcast, but we'll you... see. Oh shit, yeah. we'll see. I'll, uh, I don't think it's so. like a Who fan Even podcast. If it is... Hey, Who fans, suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Even if there is one, it's probably not going to be that big, so we could just do it. I don't know the Who. Okay, I'll look into it. 
I'll let you guys. If you're if you're a Who fan club, you need to have a better name than yeah. Teenage Wasteland. Yeah, um, you, you're really like. Fuck you. It's not even the name of the <laughs> the song. Like. Yeah, it's not even the name of the fucking song. Give it to us. <laughs> Should be the name of the song, but still. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll. Uh, Miss Joey's listening. Then it's totally the name of the song. Yeah. I'll um, I'll let everyone know what the official Twitter is once I yeah. get it up and rolling. And then follow that. And we can put um, the link or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll put it. We're gonna hopefully post this on SoundCloud, links. SoundCloud, YouTube, YouTube, Spotify will be in future episodes. Spotify possibly will this episode there. later, but and maybe uh, iTunes. This is episode zero. This is like pilot episode. Yep. Yeah, maybe eventually iTunes. So um, yeah, this has been uh, Shane and Tyler. Yeah, right. And, and ours was special guest uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, you guys. So uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No problem. Uh, I won't say any time because I mean we might have a busy schedule. But... Yeah, well, you probably yeah. won't ever be on this podcast ever again. <laughs> but okay. so, well, so uh, I, I it was hope, good while it lasted. Someday, <laughs> someday. <laughs> you, have enough, you have a spot. I wouldn't get my hopes so far with you. Um. So yeah. Uh, I guess see you next week. <laughs> yeah, see you next see you next time. Same bat time. Same, same time, same place. I, I literally don't remember how it goes. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yeah. Yeah. As in the YouTube channel. Yeah. Bat, bat, bat.